It's the Bob and Tom Show. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Way back when I was 22, everybody had hair down there. <laughs> Girls, Playboy magazine, all had pubic hair. <laughs> I like to take a lady to lunch. If there's a little carpet to munch, <laughs> nobody has pubes anymore. <laughs> Oh I went to my local gym and all the guys there are hair free. I'm feeling self conscious because downstairs I'm Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Shaved my junk, had a heart attack. Looks like a baby carrot playing hacky sack. <laughs> Nobody has pubes around the mall. Nobody has pubes. Everybody's who has baby but smooth. <laughs> Nobody has pubes anymore. Pubic hair. Oh, how I loved you. <laughs> Why did you have to go? <laughs> I dig it, she a pet. Or a fro like Waka Flocka. <laughs> I miss the 70s and a crotch just like Chewbacca. <laughs> Had a day with a gorgeous girl. Hell, I was twice her age. I was hoping when we made love, she had hair down there like better Page. <laughs> now everybody's coochie's bare, and I like a little Garfunkel down there. <laughs> Nobody has pews and I'm old. Everybody's waxed and shaved, and I like a big bush at the top of the cave. <laughs> Nobody has pews around there. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>
I just got here in time. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but uh, but uh, to get to the uh, point here, um, one of the other stories we had yesterday was about um, the gentleman who uh, developed the so-called talk box. Mm-hmm. Uh, made famous, um, I think most famous probably by Peter Frampton. Uh, Honorary yeah. member of San Francisco yeah. Society, Mr. Peter Frampton! Uh, from the Cow Palace. Uh, yeah, but Peter Frampton, Frampton Comes Alive, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. We spoke to Peter. Just last week, wasn't it? Uh -huh. And he's uh, up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's out on tour right now. I highly recommend his show. Uh, Peter's dealing with a pretty serious uh, illness, but uh, they're uh, working on it at uh, Johns Hopkins, uh, getting him fixed up, we hope, and he's uh, playing better than ever. Uh, but uh, the talk box came into uh, into play because the gentleman who invented it died. Yes. And it, I, I got the correct pronunciation. Good. It rhymes with smile. Heil. His, his name was Bob Heil. And I uh, got a nice letter here from um, a guy named Will. Who, uh, Will, Will Heil? No, he worked oh. for Mr. Heil. He oh. won't Heil. He had a brother. <sighs> I've gotten Will Heil is the heart of a man. Hey, Heil. Hey, uh, Heil. What's up? Hey, Heil. Uh, he worked at Heil Sound. Uh, this was in uh, Marissa, Illinois. He actually built those talk boxes, and he said either one, him or one of his buddies probably has his initials on the ones Peter Frampton used. Son of a gun. This guy actually built these little boxes. Huh. Uh, and he, he, it goes to explain how they worked. Nothing better than a little box, right, Josh? <laughs> man, oh, man. Oh, boy. Just down Volga Road, no matter we're what we're talking about. We're talking about, about music. Uh, it's I am, too. You can make it sing. Yeah, make it's it a simple sing. system. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, he goes, the concept had been a, around a while, uh, including uh, apparently legendary Nashville steel guitar player Pete Drake used a similar system. Oh, the duck. Call him uh, the duck man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, in any event, he goes, I can't say for sure, but I think I built the one Peter used back in the 70s. So there you go. But Well, thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's still fun. Yeah. And if you've never seen it, it looks like a sort of a flattened uh, plastic tube. Mm -hmm. He's going to walk us through it. <laughs> there we go. Well, I think it's important for those that aren't familiar it's with it. I know not everyone has the vast knowledge of everything that you have. I don't know what it looks like, and uh, I, I, I actually am capable of enjoying this conversation without you explaining to me the electronics and how the sound is made out of Peter's mouth. I wasn't really explaining the electronics. I was explaining the... You were uh, close. You were the, on the road there. The shape of the... <laughs> Pat, have you ever used one of these? Absolutely not, no. Can we get can you I, one? Can I get you one? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a novelty. I don't know if I would uh, use it. Wouldn't, you wouldn't have to use it every day. It's like cursing. When you use sparingly, it has a, an important effect. I, I bet a... you your keyboard's capable of putting some kind of talk probably. box on it, probably. Oh, that's no fun, though. You got you got the, you, Peter puts his mouth over this thing and I mouths the words, and that's how they come out. <laughs> well, here's well, the I'm thing. I'm not I had an animal. <laughs> I had a friend, Craig Bevan, back in Pennsylvania, who used it, and it blew out his fillings. He hit, he hit it wrong. And the electric, it kind of whacked his whole mouth out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I think of when I really? hear the talk. Yeah, here. Yeah. Are you kidding? And with no. your luck, that's exactly, that exactly. what would happen. Yes. Old metal fillings that blew them all out. <laughs> oh, I, still, <laughs> I still get letters about people who have bad luck and say it's almost as bad as Pat hitting a deer twice in a month. Yeah, yeah. that would happen to me. Okay. Well, in any event, hey, thanks, Will. He, uh, this guy's been listening to this show since the 80s. We thanks, certainly Will. appreciate that. One of my favorite things uh, is not being sick, of course, but... Uh, coming back after being sick and telling Pat all of my symptoms. And uh, more or less, just as I'm telling him the he symptoms, them, yeah. he gets them. Yeah. And he, he feels like yes. he's going to have it. Yeah. Sure. Bit it's of an real. empath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he is, an empath. <laughs> isn't that a train? Or a hypochondriac. Isn't the, empath, isn't the empath a train that goes from uh, Hoboken to Manhattan? <laughs> it is. That's the um, M hyphen path. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, this is... Somebody who's empathetic. Metro in Washington. I, I will check that box if you're playing the Bob and Tom home game. Josh uses a big word. Okay, Empath? check. I didn't realize that. Uh, chick goes down vulgar oh, road. I check. even know that word. Uh, <laughs> no idea. Uh, let's see. And then the other thing we're going to catch up on is that I did a Ross story, which is really cool. A uh, hilarious story from the world of skiing. Anybody see that video? Nope. Oh, it's got it's so hilarious. <laughs> um, now, can you be honest and say if this weren't... It didn't have skiing involved. Would we be doing the story? Yes, uh, and it wouldn't wouldn't be funny if the guy was not okay. 
Uh, it's a stunt that goes awry in, a, uh, in an unusual way. Okay. You can appreciate it even as a non-skier. And this guy is a great <laughs> skier. Even as a non-skier, you might enjoy it. I think That's so. surprising. I think so. What Bond movie is it where they have the skiing stunt? I think it's Magic a couple of Secret my... Service. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the one with George Lazenby. That one is a lot. He yeah, skis across the picnic table? Is that the, yeah. doesn't, he, doesn't a parachute open? Maybe. Is that the one where he skis off the cliff and the chute opens, or is that a different one? Well, there are a few with skiing, but that, yeah, there's definitely skiing in that one, because he's up in a big... I know Indiana Jones jumps out of a plane and a raft that inflates, and he... Yeah, and then it turns into a sort down. of an inner tube type thing. <laughs> yeah. And then we have, um, just by chance, I'll ask again, uh, did anyone by chance see the uh, special version of the Star Wars movie that was airing in Chile? No, I wasn't in Chile recently. No, it's all over the internet yesterday. Oh. It's, oh, where they incorporated the commercials yeah. right into yeah. the movie. It's oh, the beer thing. So funny. Oh. <laughs> Christy mm. knows. Oh, it's really funny. Uh, we'll, we'll, but that will involve Harrison Ford, ah. speaking of that. So we're tying it all together. And uh, Pat, when we come back, apparently Chick wants a song. Well, he's going to get one then. Okay. I thought, I thought, uh, well. I think America wants a song. We actually oh. opened with one of my songs yeah. just now. The Pube song. Oh, I'm a big fan. Show open. Mm -hmm. And, oh, and if, if I might I add, wasn't listening. Uh, You're not a big fan. Pat, that's, one of, that's, one, that's one of our winners. In that the, was a winner, yeah. And uh, Mr. Godwin, ago. once again, you won? three finalists in the uh, oh. um, songwriting competition out of Nashville. Yep. Uh, Pat's got three songs in it as of a couple days ago. So uh, does this... Hand-me-downs, Mom Worked the Farm, and the Hotel Pool. Is this uh, is this like a monthly contest? Is no, every, like year. every year. Yes. It's once a year, huh? Yes. yes. Seems more often than that. Other winners include Paul and Storm, Haywood mm -hmm. Banks, Haywood Banks yeah. Toast, uh, and Paul, uh, a, a, a number of great tunes. Mom Worked the Farm, I don't remember that. I haven't done on the show, and I haven't done hand-me-downs either. I was going to say, neither of those. Mm -mm. We'll get to them. Uh, when, don't uh, give when, me when the hand-me-down shoes. When they win, we get boom, to hear them. Boom, okay. Boom, boom. Right now, uh, a couple of other things uh, coming up in sports. Any Sounds teasers? Like fix was in. He kind of knows he's going to win. Or not. I'm just saying that. I wish him good luck. Uh, Purdue. Money may have exchanged hands. Oh, there you go. Produce, <laughs> uh, your, uh, Purdue's your Big Ten champion. The Dartmouth men's basketball uh, team has uh, something they'd like to tell you, and it I'll tell you what it, it was. It doesn't involve winning. Uh, the Kelsey brothers were on site at the Cleveland Cavaliers game last night. And, uh, spoiler alert, Cleveland wins and the brothers had a couple beers delivered by the mascot. Now that's service. That's yes. Yes. Yeah. They're courtside and here comes the mascot. Here only, you go, boys. Uh, only cooler would be a draft beer delivered by a uh, t-shirt cannon. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be a trip. It'd be cooler because you'd be in wet, yeah. with cold fluid. You're looking sure. for a liquid shrapnel. This is the word you're looking for. <laughs> uh, right now, this portion of the body. Naked bowling <sighs> coming up. Naked. This naked bowling story is great, and I do have a question. I'm not Keep gonna it ask to it yourself. Oh, I've got a really good question about naked bowling. Shut up your face. And it's in. Uh, it's, it, it's He's in, still uh, talking. It's in Pennsylvania, Pat. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by Better Help. Better help is a uh, truly better idea about incorporating these uh, contemporary things that we carry around. Uh, contemporary culture features phones everywhere, computers everywhere, and actually it can be very helpful with your head. I'm talking about uh, getting some extra time and taking some time maybe to uh, find out what it is that's most meaningful for you, what makes you happy, and therapy can help you get there, and better help is a better way to access therapy. It's a really simple idea brilliantly executed by the folks at BetterHelp. You fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll get matched with a licensed therapist, one of 25,000 plus therapists participating with BetterHelp. And then the way it works is the therapy itself is done online. By the way, you can switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. And uh, when I said the therapy is done online, it can be done like a phone call, talking back and forth, or like a Zoom call or a FaceTime thing where you can see the uh, therapist, or uh, just texting back and forth. It's all about whatever works for you, and it's about empowering you to be the best version of yourself in a much more convenient and flexible manner. So see what I'm talking about. Check out BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That's slash BT Show part. That'll uh, that'll nail 10% right off the top there uh, for your first month. So BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. That's BetterHelp. H H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash B-T show. And this portion of the Bob and Tom Show sponsored by BetterHelp. So we're coming back with uh, Naked Bowling, a song from Pat, uh, and other delights in the news. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7.
point out, by the way, Tim is um, ghostly white. No. As, if he's, <laughs> as if he's never seen no, wait, the sun. Whoa, 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 whoa. You two look like You brothers. two are in the same clear club. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Literally, you guys have Actually, actually you know what? I think there's a Kavanaugh in your wood pile. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, one there was. There, no, there was. my grandmother's a Kavanaugh. I is that right? Yeah. these two are related. Yep. No, it's scary. Tim that's looks more like my brother than I do, which is weird. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, now, Tim. Brother, a very handsome man. Oh, God. He is, fortunately. Lucky for him. So you're going to try some of this shrimp? cocktail you've never had this before i Tim? love i love shrimp cocktail you do i love it so okay. it's like one of my favorite things where right, are you well, on uh, where are you on spicy things uh let me say uh, that i went to applebee's last night <laughs> and i got the boneless wings because again that's the way i roll uh-huh. right? mm-hmm. and they said what's <laughs> off i have someone want? take the bones out for uh-huh. me that's, that's how right. important uh, I that's exactly Could right i have I these know. deboned <laughs> i know it's surprising a uh, man in yes, my station yes. of life uh-huh. now tim uh-huh. i'm going to eat one of these just so you know it can be done Okay. Well, you have hardly any sauce on that. Yeah. Quiet. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it with a lot of sauce. Oh, load it up. Tim. Come oh, on, load Tim. it up, Tim. Yeah, that's very that's good. Fine. That's fine. It's not gonna be pretty. That's fine. This, okay. All right. Go for it. Whole thing. Don't All the way in. in. Cram it in there. Well, not the whole thing. Oh my God. How are you right. doing over there? <laughs> Sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting You're red. turning red. red. Look how red his cheeks are already. <laughs> now he's taking his glasses off. Oh my God. Steam is going to be coming out of his ears does, like in a it, cartoon. It uh, shoots right to the top of your head. <laughs> and if you have a, uh, some, some sort of sinus problem, it clears yeah. it right out. Isn't that delightful? You can talk it's anytime delicious. you're ready. And you're allowed to speak. Oh you would like more, wouldn't you? Fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, where's that med- Where's that uh, EMT? <laughs> oh my wow. God! Can yeah. I ask a, Tom a question? Yes, what sir. is it about you that someone else's discomfort delights? <laughs> You're so just happy. delighted. He's not going to be happy until someone actually dies on the program. So then they died. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. It's tasty, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's very it's, a it's voice. about it. <laughs> The thing about it, it is so good, you want to do it again. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It, it, it's, it takes you to a... <laughs> I got to do it again? I, I take that back. Oh, it's no. so good, you have to do it oh, again. Oh, no. Is he going to really load it up? Team Dip, load it really up. load it up now. Load it up. Joey, Joey would have already gone through two pounds of this. I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're an amateur. Oh. Just, you you got to zone out. This you is no It's going to get any easier, Timmy. Zone it out. Oh, he's going to sit there. <laughs> Look at the veins oh. pop out. <laughs> Maybe it's best you don't speak. There is a vein in your throat. I don't think most humans have that. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, is, that is that what Johnny would call the karate artery? I, yeah, and his, ba- his face really does You really are red. turning red. Oh wow, gosh. that's... That's I'm glad probably you're not. Clear, your healthy. eyes are watering. <laughs> you look like someone just gave you some very bad news, and it involved death. <laughs> so the EMT is not here for Joey. It's for you. Uh, Thank goodness God. gracious. Mm-hmm. But the, what is it about food like this where it, it's kind of painful, but you sort of like it and you want to do more? It's, it's delicious. It is. Um, good. You it know good. what? I think I've had enough. What's for, the uh, for I, right now. I, Joey? I, what's the most painful uh, food that you've had to eat a lot of? Oh, there's been a couple. I ate kimchi when I was in Korea. Yeah, mm-hmm. fermented cabbage. Right. And that was really spicy. Oh boy, that was Ooh. awful. Uh, <laughs> I'll never eat it again. Uh, uh, how much, you do of, that how much did you swallow? I did, I did just under just under seven pounds. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, okay. God. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. I had a moment where uh, my girlfriend thought she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. And by the way, if you know, ladies, if you're uh, if you suspect that you're pregnant, tell the guy during the day, don't wait until you're about to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. No. You know, because that's what she did. She's like, I have a cramp. I'm like, oh, I might be pregnant. Good night. Huh? I'm like, no. <laughs> Good night. I don't think so. I go, well, well let's find out. Well, what are you going to do? So I, you know, hauled butt to Walmart. Yep. And um, got a test. Got yeah. myself a little test. Doctor yeah, in a box. Stick. Yeah, two, I know. Two o'clock in the morning. And of all the times to get recognized. You know, uh-huh. I walk into Walmart in the night shift. <laughs> yeah, fluffy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> what do you need? A miracle. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so, so, All right, here's some tickets to a Grateful Dead concert. Right? All right. <laughs> so I found the aisle where they sell the pregnancy test, and I realized something. Walmart has figured out the evolution of how life works, and yeah. they put it in aisle four. As soon as you turn the corner, you see condoms. Uh-huh. Then you see lubricant. The next to the lubricant, you see pregnancy tests. The next to that, you see pampers. Next to that, formula. Uh-huh. And at the end of the aisle, they sell 
called beer. <laughs> it's a full circle. <laughs> Not bad. It's uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, like I, I grew, up, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, strange man, former porno movie star from the seventies. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, this is Jimmy Pardo. You. <laughs> Don't make the fog sound. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're here. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> kind of a negative approach. I, uh, good, good morning. Uh, we have some uh, news here. In the world of what we're going to be doing, and, what, do you, what, what do you got, Tom? We're heading for West Virginia. We're going to be in Charleston uh, doing this show the morning of Friday, April fifth. West by God, Virginia is what I always called it. And you can uh, come watch; it'll be fun. We'll have Duke Tomato and the Power Trio along with the Brass to Mouth Horns, and we'll be at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. And then we're going to do a live comedy show that night with uh, Willie G and uh, who else is going to be there? Josh, uh, Mr. Oske, and Pat Godwin. And then Kristen, I'll be your host. It'll be fun. Yeah. Hope to see you there. And um, it's my understanding that uh, we recorded a couple of videos for that, um, uh, so promotional videos, if you will. And You were saying this morning that you'd seen them and they are incredibly professional is what you were talking about. Uh, well, there are some outtakes. As you, huh? as you recall, we had to do it about 10 times. That's mm. not, mm, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. There were some problems. But I, I believe uh, even the ones that aren't perfect are floating around the Internet somewhere. So I'll find out about those and Is let you know. Right? Yeah, but once again, uh, this show, Friday morning, April 5th, from the uh, uh, Charleston, West Virginia Coliseum and Convention Center should be fun. Hope to see you there. Now, uh, we uh, turn to the uh, sports page with Chick McGee. Yes. Zach Eady had uh, 28 points and eight rebounds. Number three, Purdue rallies in the second half to beat number 12, Illinois. Uh, they call the, him the ice cream man. In the Champagne <laughs> City. Um, they call Edie. him the gourmet. Edie. Purdue's the... Um, <laughs> yep, it'd be either one would be great. <laughs> <laughs> the first team in 17 years to win consecutive outright Big Ten regular season championships. And I look to Christy Lee to be responsible for Purdue winning because it was... Your tuition money that pushed them over the top. Thank you. To become uh, Big Ten champions. Boiler up. That's right. Yeah. Boiler up. Now, what is a boiler maker? Is that a, uh, what drink is that? I know it's some sort of train, but what is, isn't it's a there a beer, beer and whiskey? a shot in it? Beer and a, you just take a beer and drop, drop a whiskey shot in it? I believe so. I thought, I thought you consumed the shot and then drank the beer. I've had both that way. What's, I, is you saying the one where you take the shot glass and drop it into the draft beer? Yeah. I've had a, a Boilermaker like that, and yeah. then I had, a, a, I ordered a beer and a whiskey separately one time, and the bartender goes, oh, a Boilermaker. Oh, okay. So maybe he thought I was going to drop it in, or he, so I don't know. Do you know Does, what a, ch a choker is? I don't know what a choker is. So you take a... Um, this doesn't exist. A... Uh, <laughs> something Bobby Gaylor made up, and it's not It's not a real thing. You but go a, ahead. A bottled beer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a tall, slender bottle yes. of beer. And then the, the, Not the, a fat bottle of beer. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, I suppose you could. You could do it with like a, a red stripe. Like, yeah. like, a, like a Grolsch or one of those. Yeah. And the, Grolsch. The space between the uh, top of the liquid and the, uh, the, the the rim, if you will, uh -huh. of the beer, you, you fill that with vodka. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yikes. Yeah, see? You top it off, you see. You know what a top off job is? A top-off job. Is That's that what happens when they... Oh, go ahead. When you're yeah. visiting someone's home and oh, you're in their shower, yeah, you take their shampoo and, and you, you top, top off top the shampoo off. with urine. Wow. <laughs> is that... Whoa, 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 whoa. What no. is that? You're using urine? That's oh. not what you're supposed to no. use. No. Oh, frothier, <laughs> frothier. How much seed do you produce, my friend? Well, well that's, that's impressive. What, that's and what you're supposed to use. Same, like, look or consistency. Exactly. What the hell? Yeah. What monster would do that? <laughs> Was Was the same monster me? that would leave an upper decker? Crap uh, in your tank instead of the bowl? Uh, when I first heard of the upper decker, I 
God, that's funny. Yeah, that is funny. Uh, Man, that is a funny right. name. That's a classic. Like a funny conceit. Great. And, 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 and a funny, <laughs> funny position while trying to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the chance of getting caught. <laughs> footprints on the... But theoretically... <laughs> footprints on the lid. Theoretically, couldn't you put, uh, you know, roll up some toilet paper and... and Put it in crap in your hand and then dump it into the tank and then. Walk, I suppose, walk, walk, but walk I'd want to go direct no, no, deposit. No, no, yeah. that's. Yeah, you have to wash that's, your hands. That's, that's really how amateurs well. do it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Come the on. The pros get right up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you right. you bear back. Oh, I stand correct. You bear back. <laughs> I stand correct. So, so we really haven't come to a definition of the boilermaker properly. Well, and then, um, well, and I'm being, re I don't even know if I can say this. The other, uh, the dropping the whiskey in the beer is also known as. An Irish car bomb? Yes. But that's a different type of beer. It's a specific type of beer. That's what I thought. It's, Guinness. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. thought it was called the blast off. <clears throat> As portrayed, as seen in the movie, The Reluctant Astronaut with Don Knotts. <laughs> oh. He drinks. He goes, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> and he drops the shot into the beer, and he chugs her down, man. That's a great You know, scene. he... He did not, uh, he had apprehensions about going up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was real nervous. He played, a, he? see, he played an astronaut at a kid's park, remember? Yes. He was in the. <laughs> You'd be pleased to know that I own a, a DVD set, like a four, a Don Knotts collection. Okay, what, what, what do you have? The fish one? Yeah. Uh, Mr. 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 Limpet. The Incredible Mr. Limpet is not included in there. There must have been a licensing oh. issue. Oh. So it's the reluctant astronaut, the shakiest gun in the West. Right. Um, <laughs> he was nervous, wasn't he? Uh, the ghost. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mr. Chicken. Yes. Out of boy, Luther. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and uh, I, I would argue that the character of Barney Fife is in the top ten television characters of all time. Oh, yeah. I disagree. I say top five. I think top history. Five, yeah. I think t television historians would agree with that. That yeah, is. Absolutely. That is such. A, and apparently, off camera, he was uh, quite the ladies' man. I can't imagine. And there are that. lots of pictures of uh, of Andy and Don smoking it up. I can't <laughs> imagine. That Just cigarettes, crazy. right? Yeah, cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. who knows? I know, I know Gilligan was a big pot user. That's sure. a whole different Ooh. story. Uh, but, uh, well, speaking of... Um, that sort of thing. Yeah. I, uh, I've just been informed. This is a classic that uh, takes into account some of the things we've just been oh, discussing. Okay. When you need relief and you need it fast, eat a bowl of Sphincter Blast. Hi, I'm Harry Kalanick Jr. for the new High Fiber <laughs> Breakfast Cereal, Sphincter Blast. The power breakfast of the 90s. The bottom line on Sphincter Blast, it's the highest fiber cereal known to man. One 10-ounce serving contains more fiber than a log of New England birch firewood. <laughs> Sphincter Blast. Rectify your problems with a bowl of this delicious cereal. Regular flavor or new cornflakes. Sphincter Blast. Some cereals shoot for the moon. We shoot for Uranus. <laughs> Just say to your grocer, snap, crackle, plop. <laughs> Tell them Harry Kalanick Jr. sent you and watch for my BMTV special. <laughs> Harry Kalanick Jr. unplugged. <laughs> They're booing. Sphincter Blast in the big brown tapered package. <laughs> That's, of course, so the box won't slam shut. <laughs> It may sound corny, but Sphincter Blast is hip, cool, and it's mm, solid. <laughs> when you need relief and you need it fast, eat a bowl of Sphincter Blast. <laughs> uh, recorded live. Uh, recorded live with Chick McGee and the Bob and Tom Singers. What a classic. Yeah, a 13-year-old Chick McGee. There. <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, I'd that forgotten about that one. Yeah. I just love the name Harry Kalanick Jr., though. Yeah. Uh, now, um, uh, so uh, do we have a definitive answer yet on the the exact... Oh, I was I supposed to be looking at a that shot out? of whiskey I'm, and a... Uh, is it a whiskey or, or vodka? It's whiskey where it's I come whiskey. from. It's whiskey. Yeah. Boilermaker. Okay, the, the, the boilermaker. Now, um, while you look that up, Christy... Um, yep, that's chick exactly what it is, what we've always said. It's just a beer with a shot of whiskey. But you don't have to drop it into the you beer. You don't have to, but But that's the fun can. part. Yeah. Doesn't that make the beer taste awful? No. Uh, no, it just adds a little whiskey to it. No, and then when you you drink all the beer, you come out and there's shot glasses in your mouth. It's <laughs> hilarious. I got just, I mean, hammered. Oh, I can imagine. Hammered one night on Boilermakers. And then I was throwing up outside of my girlfriend's car. Right. 
as she was going down the highway, I was puking out the window, right. and my glasses flew off. Oh. oh. And I insisted she pull over so I could go out onto the highway and get my glasses. Oh. And thankfully, she said, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of cool, this straightforward whiskey beer concoction, apparently, where the whiskey is dropped into the beer, found favor in the 1800s among wow. factory workers, possibly those who fabricated the boilers of locomotive engines. Wow. Josh, come on. You can back me up on this. There weren't factories in the 1800s. No, of course not. <laughs> uh, no. It was all... Uh, Everything was made out of wood. Yeah. Everything was made out of wood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 I was driving along one night, and I was the designated driver, believe it or not. And we had a car full of guys, and the guy behind me kept saying, I'm going to be sick, I'm going to be sick. Uh, and I said, well, just go out the window then. Just vomit out the window because we were late or something. And he goes to vomit out the window and hadn't rolled the window. No. <laughs> so I heard, Whoop, splash. Oh, Man. No. In high school, we took a, a bus trip to, um, I actually remember where we were going. We went to the uh, a, a very nice museum in Pittsburgh. Okay. Mm. Beautiful Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, the, uh, the uh, Cantaloupe Museum, the Carnegie Mellon? Uh... Uh, <laughs> the Carnegie, <laughs> Carnegie Mellons, of course. Yeah. Uh, no, in, in any event, on the way back, um, uh, I won't use the names here, one of our guys uh, unfortunately vomited out the window. Mm. Mm -hmm. The bad news is the guy four or five windows back had his window open. Oh, oh geez. No. Yeah, yeah, that was a... That Not smell really. on a bus. Yes. yes. A nightmare. Still remember it. That's and then really one of the guys, one. one of our guys uh, who was uh, the best athlete in the school was terrified of going over bridges. Mm. Yeah. I, got, I have a little bit of that. And terrified. Really? Yeah. So he had to sit next to the coach and whenever he come to a bridge, uh -huh. he had to look the other way and get kind of calmed down. Right. Put your head in my lap, son. Everything will be fine. It's a long uh, bridge. Uh, that's kind of Calm down, difficult. boy. Uh, what now, was that stuff they used when they somebody would vomit on the bus and they would use like oh, yeah. pencil shavings yeah. to clean it up? Do that's, you remember isn't, that isn't that smell? called like vomit clear or something? Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it's a, any custodian will have a bag of that stuff. Yeah, it looked like pencil shavings, right? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Did that kid end up puking the bridge uh, pussy? No, no, no. No, he was just, it's just so funny. This guy was this great athlete. Christy, you familiar with bridge pussy? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's like HOH, but it's a little it's, bit it, different. It, if it's under a bridge, it tends to be very inexpensive. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You get a no. dozen roses. <laughs> yeah. uh, we had this story last week. You wanted a song from Pat. I think this will launch a It'd song. It'd be nice. Um, uh, customs agents in California intercepted $3 million worth of cocaine, oh. hidden, of all things, in a shipment of limes. Yes. This took place at the, I'll spell it, O-T-A-Y, the Ote Mesa commercial facility <laughs> where if you walk up to any of these men or women and go, Ote, they go, okay, we've heard uh, it before. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we got like, it. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. We like funny. Eddie Murphy, too. Huh? Very funny. It was, it was <laughs> funny once. Um, in any event, uh, yeah, they, they hid the uh, cocaine in the, in the, in the limes. But the, you, you, you have a tribute, Pat? Was this cocaine in the boat? It was in the limes. Oh. Customs found a cocaine wrapped up in the lime. Customs found the cocaine. Somebody's doing time. They put the lime in the cocaine. They wrapped them all up. Put the lime in the cocaine. Truckers out of luck. They put the lime in the cocaine. Thinking you won't find it. Put the lime in the cocaine. El Chapo is behind it. Customs says it looks like three million. Customs says maybe it's a billion now. Let me get this straight. <laughs> they put the lime in the cocaine. They wrapped them all up, then sent one poor schmuck alone in the truck. They put the lime in the cocaine. I'm thinking we won't find it. Put the lime in the cocaine. Now Chapo is behind. You put the lime in the cocaine. You swallow them together. Put the lime in the cocaine. Strap under your sweater, put the lime in the cocaine. Better hurry fast, put the lime in the cocaine. Shove it up your ass. Put the lime in the cocaine. I'm going to prison. <laughs> now, thank you, uh, to be clear, um, the uh, the uh, cocaine was not being uh, smuggled in the so-called prison purse. I added it. It was no. in the truck. I, no. Although a lime in the keister would be, going in might be easy, but getting that baby out unless you got a string on it. Mm. Uh, well, you know me in do uh, documentaries, I watched uh, about drug mules, and uh, they 70, 80 capsules uh, wrapped in uh, condoms, and they swallow them. Uh, to uh, smuggle them 
and then poop them out? Where they're going, yes. Yeah. And then just it's... hope they don't burst. And hope they don't burst inside, yes. God. Risky it'd be, business. It'd be okay for about 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, but... uh, of course, things would turn bad. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Uh, it, it, well, thank you very much, Pat. I can't imagine how they do that. Now, um, uh, coming up, we have uh, a quality, number of interesting rubbish. things in the news, including um, uh, a lot of sporting news. We do have an odd world record today. Uh, as is the tradition on this show. Last time you used a condom, Tom. Can you remember? Yeah, I think can, everyone can fill that in. I was the father of seven. Um, um, it, you haven't used a condom this century, correct? Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly certain of that answer. Obviously. Okay. Mm, right. Really? Fair enough. Uh, I mean, I use them for lots of other things. No. Well, for lots of other things. Well, let's, let's like, start the bidding. <laughs> oh, now we have to know. To hear nothing, that. Uh, nothing funnier than those condom balloons, with, uh, water balloons with the reserve tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't burst, would they? If they, yeah, you'd think they would have. They'd be harder to a little hardier than but, a regular uh, balloon. Right? <laughs> I bet they will. Uh, uh, the answer is they they will burst. So. Now, um, uh, coming up, we also have uh, besides moose news and turkey news. <laughs> We have a bizarre story about tumbleweeds. I don't know if any of you saw this over the weekend. The, I, did, uh, I did see The it. tumbleweed yeah. invasion. But what's most interesting about this is the origin of the tumbleweed. Okay. You were so used to them being in the Old West. Sure. Not native. No? No. Somebody brought them here? Yeah. Wait till you find out who it was. I'll be darned. That's, uh, if tumbleweeds are in a Stephen King book, that's demonic possession. Well, they all roll up to a house, right? Mm, that's kind of what's happening. Yeah. Uh, so we'll find out about that. And, of course, uh, Delton John's best album, wouldn't you say, Tumbleweed Connection? Uh, it's right up that? there. Oh, yeah. It's right up there, yeah. yeah. That is a fine piece yeah. of work if you've never heard it. Uh, right now, uh, Chick McGee has this to report. I'll listen to Tumbleweed Connection this afternoon and have peace of mind in my compound protected by Simply Safe, the design it yourself, do it yourself, home security system. You know, FBI property crime data says most home break ins happen in broad daylight. Days are getting longer. Protect your home with Simply Safe. It's the award winning home security we use and recommend. Simply Safe Comprehensive Protection, named Best Home Security System of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and Best Customer Service in Home Security by Newsweek. Advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch for suspicious activity inside and out, and they're high def, and they're backed by 24 7 professional monitoring. For less than a dollar a day, it's easy to install the system yourself, or you can have Simply Safe's professionals take care of that. And Simply Safe has a 60 day risk free trial. If you don't love your system, which I find impossible, you can return it for a full refund. Protect your home today and get peace of mind. Bob and Tom show listeners also get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. All you have to do is visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. And uh, speaking of uh, daylight, which you mentioned, daylight savings uh, yeah. kicking in, uh, what is it, 2 a.m. on uh, Sunday mornings. Sunday morning. Spring Sunday, forward. Sunday turns. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, mm. bring forward. Yeah. <sighs> That'll mean Monday show, total exhaustion. Uh, we'll be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at one. Hey, hi, I'm Tom. This is Chick. That's Josh. And this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston. The Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Well, 
old church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The brimstone got so that gum hot it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived, right? He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he'd preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the Spirit, so to speak. With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come. I've run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? <laughs> Joe said, well, y'all just use the whole dang place. Ain't nine on a jukebox, amazing grace. I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open the night if it's all right with y'all. Preacher says, well, I reckon it'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I can do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the First Baptist Bar and Grill, it's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. When the sinners finish one more round, we'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and pray we don't get killed. The evangelists came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well, said the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills that taught youth Sunday school and two dickens in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with the Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall drunk trucker about to puke, had John 316 memorized, trying to dry him out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelist yelled about the lights and the bears said, White, you can't save any soul in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher says, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. You only saved one sinner. That's Todd McGuire. He's a little son bit. Set my church on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and it done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. <laughs> They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. I'm trying to think, make sure I don't cuss in here, because usually in the Please show don't. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know the lyrics. And wine in here is always chill. Oh, yeah. And we're here every Sunday. We're living large. We're the only church with a cover charge. <laughs> and if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, we'll have our bouncer throw your ass out. Of the First Baptist Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skill it, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. <laughs> Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Anything cool like a wild dingo or wolverine? <laughs> it's never a venomous duck or a bat. A venomous <laughs> duck. You get like a porcupine. It's usually cat. Usually two cats. Like a little one she just rescued from the trash ten seconds ago. Just got run over by a train or something. Still has leaves stuck to its rear end. It's bulimic and anemic. Then <laughs> the girl's gonna tell you like the story how she met the cat. Oh, I put some I put some milk out on Tuesday. She drank all the milk and came back on Wednesday. That's a beautiful story. Take your top off. <laughs> John Joseph is our guest.
Uh -huh. Try to figure out the words. Nobody. Dylan, do you know the words to Dylan songs? Not, Not a one of them. Here's every song ever written by Bob Dylan. Uh -huh. G, 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 G. Did I get them all? Did I miss any? Hey, you got them. Uh, Holy <laughs> mackerel, Andy. Is that really his voice? I think it is. Come on. You, you think when Bob Dylan was in kindergarten class, he was saying stuff like, he took my glue. <laughs> I got he thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. Hey, everybody, this is Tux Lady. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. A lot going on this morning. Sports, news, Harry Nilsson. Harry Nielsen. Nielsen. Yeah. Nielsen. And here's some Nielsen. nice talk. Hey, uh, uh, Patches, they just tribute to the lime and the coconut. Well, yes. Do you remember how popular this song was? Oh, gosh, yeah. It was everywhere. It was good. It was okay. This guy's an incredible vocalist. He's awesome. What's your favorite Nelson John Lennon story? Oh, I saw them. <laughs> Did you? In person, yeah. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. Seriously. At the garden? No, no, no. They were on the streets of New York. Just walking along? Near the Dakota. I used to live down near there. Yeah, really? you'd see Lennon occasionally. I saw him twice, but yeah, he, with with Harry Nielsen yeah, in uh, Central Park. Was Yoko right there keeping an no, eye on him? No, it was just the two of them. Um, I think first it might have, might have been during those trouble. Uh, those famous lost days. First There's a very one. depressing uh, documentary about Mr. Harry Nielsen. Yeah, that's not that's not terribly uh, and, yeah <laughs> happy. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> he's a wild man. It's interesting in kind of a car crash way. Yeah. yeah, but man, what a jump yeah. into the fire is just one of the greatest. His biggest ever. hit probably was the what the theme to Midnight Cowboy. Everybody's, Everybody's talking. talking. At you. Yeah, and, and he without didn't, you, he didn't write Everybody's that. Everybody's talking. I like without you. I do too. It's a great vocal. Yeah, try hitting those notes. No, you can't. He was, um, I bet Pat can. Without was, you, I do. I know that. The song? part where you go, Doctor, can you get up that high? Yeah. Doctor, can you be? No, I can't do that. Um, yeah, but uh, he, yeah, and, he and Lennon, according to the story, were yeah, having a. Without you, they oh, were drunk. They were having a singing contest or something, and they were seeing how loud they could yell into the microphone. Yeah, Ooh. and they would that neither one could stop until there was blood on the microphone. Oh, oh man, jeez. Yeah. Remember the famous incident oh. at the Troubadour with someone was wearing a tampon on their head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were not great days for. Jim. I don't remember that. They heckled oh. the Smothers Brothers. Yeah, pretty famous incident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in any event, if you're not familiar. With the Harry Nielsen, I certainly recommend it. Uh, now, um, uh, where were we? Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, I know. I want to mention this. Uh, the Bob and Tom Show is going to be doing a live version. We'll be doing this radio broadcast. That's right. Coming up on uh, April 5th. And don't worry if you're thinking that we don't argue in front of company. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, you're terribly wrong. Oh, it's great because you get the chance to see Chick be wrong off the air also. <laughs> Blatant hostility um, live and in person. I, I want to say thanks to Rock 105 WKLC bringing the Bob and Tom Show live edition with uh, Brass to Mouth Horns with Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. That'll be the morning of April 5th. It'll be uh, 6 to 10 Eastern <clears throat> Daylight Time, right? EDT. Yeah. Very good, Tom. Kicking in this Sunday yeah. in everywhere. What is it except for Arizona, Hawaii? <laughs> so you should have heard him off the air. Now, now this is a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. going I, I couldn't remember if it was. Uh, going so it's as, sa as Saturday turns to Sunday, sure. not Sunday turning. To, okay, I right. I still. I know <laughs> we were together, if you will, working together before iPhones, and I still don't know how you <laughs> remembered which way to go. With I the never got it right. I. It's always confused the hell out of me. And I know... It's, and now I'm I'm not wearing my, uh, what do you call it? I, or, Apple, watch Apple Watch anymore. Watch, yeah. yeah, but you're carrying your phone. It's the same thing. Why aren't you wearing it? I am I don't want to know. Oh, I don't want my phone telling, bossing me around. It's a fallback. Spring forward makes it real easy. Spring forward, yeah. fallback. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Fall back, spring I just can never remember if it's spring forward or fall back or spring back. I think that, chicks, right? Because spring technically comes first in the uh, okay, in, in the year. Uh, feet, what was uh, I discussing? Feet oh, feet I know. I was discussing this show being live in oh, yeah. Charleston, Charleston, West, West Virginia. Virginia. And then you muddied the waters yourself by saying EDT. I, a lot of people we, call thinking it was in the other place. <laughs> yeah, you so feeling like, like sure you have to <laughs> make a big damn deal and take Eastern Daylight Time. You know something? <laughs> Our listeners are not going to be late for work Monday. Because uh, they forgot about it. No, because some of them will have broken their radio by now, <laughs> listening to you talk. Yeah. Or whatever they're listening to. I respect your optimism that we'll have listeners Monday. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and and then, that's, that's a bold statement. And then we're going to be doing a special show that evening, the evening of April 5th, Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Am I correct in saying tickets go on sale today? Is that yes. right? Well, Coliseum. Wow. Oh, yeah. We'll be there. Coliseum. Will there be lions? No, but there'll be Willie G. There'll be, uh, let's see, who else is going to be there? Oh, Josh will be there. Mr. Oske, uh, Mr. Godwin, I'll be there. You'll be there. Chris. The Christian. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Now, um, I'll be parking the I'm going to be doing a lot of new material. So, uh, are you? I don't know. Bring your Raycons. Uh, <laughs> or, I'm excited uh, to hear it. Wait till you come on to go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, have you had to adjust your material since you've slimmed down so much? Well, I've had to adjust it more so because of the, uh, my uh, album came out. So. I don't want to just uh, try to throw that stuff at the, at the people. You think people listen to that? Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you have any... Uh, I have a question. Uh, you had at one point... How many... Were there 100 copies of your album on vinyl? Yes, you gifted me 100 of are those. You, are, yeah. Do you have any left? I do, yeah. I'll be taking some to West Virginia. So you could sign them over to people. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think you have left? Like 96? Eight. I'm going to say 70. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. Yeah. That's a collectible. All so, right. Yeah. And now Chick and I have the same policy. We will not sign them. No, we're not going to sign because they're yours. Yeah, you don't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't sign. Oh, if I did sign it, I would uh, have to put eats it on there somewhere. Yes, uh, with an yeah, arrow. Yeah. But that's they, fine. They're yeah. mostly black, as I recall. Yeah, they'll be designed it. So and the silver sharpies look great on them. Oh, that's what you're going to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, the silver sharpies. That's yeah. a, one of my favorite bands. They used to open. Oh yeah, they're, they were the consensuals. Uh, <laughs> we now turn to the sports page. Speaking briefly. of West Virginia and Don Knotts. If you <laughs> drive into Morgantown on University Avenue, where WVU is, it turns into Don Knotts Boulevard. Oh. And he has a Don Knotts statue in downtown Morgantown. Oh, well, what the heck? We got to go. But that's way over on uh, the eastern side yeah, of the but state. But, yeah. We're there big Don go. Knotts fans once again. And uh, this, the Don Knotts statue and Don Knotts Boulevard is one of the 12 best things to do in Morgantown. Mm. Wow. Mm. How about you know that? No, it's number one. What? What's number one? Yeah. <laughs> sweet, what sweet. if number four was just Maybell? It just said, <laughs> like, who's that? Oh, the way, oh you'll know. A by request, uh, I've been asked to uh, play the actual sound of a Chris Craft. Oh, boy. The famous wooden boats. For who, the who, who, Where did that come from? Who we were... asked you to do this? I get handed mail. Have you ever noticed I that don't... guy that walks in here and hands me stuff? <laughs> you... So you guys were You're praising... not above lying. You I were yeah, telling yeah, you yeah. I'm too... I am skeptical. Uh, yeah. 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 I have been uh, praised... Especially this narrow cast. Tom yeah. does a good... I have been praised for my impression of a Chris Okay, Christ. let's hear your impression. <laughs> now, it, that hear. is good. Let's that, hear the real thing. Now, this is that actual, is enjoyable. I don't think I'm going to enjoy the actual sound nearly as much. I was making the point, if you ever get a chance to ride in a beautiful wooden... Uh, any kind of great right. wooden boat, especially sailboats, but the Chris Craft has those like Kennedy. automobile engines in them. You see them in movies occasionally. They're so beautiful. They are. Uh, and um, uh, well, here's what the, the actual sound. Huh? I mean, is that not great? I love it. Oh, makes you want to get out the water skis, hop in the back, Man. and sure. drive by on a lake house and wave at somebody. Hey, we're out here. How are you doing? <laughs> Is that what you do? You drive by and wave. Hey, I'm wave. a dock waver for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah? oh wave I wave to those dock on waver. docks, and I'm, when I'm on my dock, I wave to those. Do passes. you wave to other boats as they pass? Particularly other bass boats, just kind okay. of an technology like your yeah. like, uh. like jeeps. And I, I said this before. I, I had uh, I had three, four actually Jeep Grand Cherokees in my life. Loved them. Last one got stolen, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I, I, I would I would I would wave at people in Jeep Grand Cherokees. Then I found out that's only supposed to be done if you're in a Wrangler. Wrangler. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. didn't they tell me that when I bought it? I think it's okay asked. to wave at anybody if they're driving the same model it is? car you are. Yeah, is it? that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. I thought that was primarily a Jeep thing. Well, in any event. Uh, All right. Certainly I mean, and long, as long as you're both white, I think that's fair. <laughs> what an insane thing to say. But. 
Let's, uh... <laughs> Do you have a song? Do you have a song called... That sound effect was louder. Do you have a sound effect called Anything But Chick Talking? Uh, when we come back, we'll try to pick the show up Ooh. off the ground. And we have a Ooh. snow skier in snow the news. Butter, butter, coconut, butter, food. Oh, oh, yeah. The end of Reservoir Dogs. Oh, yeah. Isn't it Nielsen Schmielsen? Was that the That's other one? Yeah. Nielsen yeah. Schmielsen. Yeah. Son of Schmielsen. Yeah. Is the really good Can you turn that on? The really good one is Nielsen Schmielsen, right? That's what That's I, a classic. Yeah, they're both yeah. pretty good classic. as far as I'm concerned, but the first one is better, yeah. Really? Okay, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, now, uh, when we come back, we'll try to clean the show up. Or uh, uh, whatever. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at Bob and Tom. Okay, let's go see Bob and Tom. Yeah! You can't say it on the air. Trust me. Not the way you want to do it. You, we no, don't I've know. been over this a hundred times. No, if you say that, we're going to get a fine. We're not going to get a fine. The average idiot's going to perceive it as the noun. No, you, no, no, no. We can't do that. You can't say that on the air. It has no meaning as a verb, whereas my term can be taken two ways. That's why the no. joke has a joke. No, you can't do that. Kids, let me just ask you this. Am I right? The only way to make this joke funny, you've got to use the word cornhole. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. Did you see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing. Start is over. Wrong word. Hey, Charleston. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right. And our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Now, Bob has split the hot dog and put the cheese down the middle of the That's hot good. dog. That's good. That's fine. And now you're going to stuff that in the <laughs> And I actually, I had to surgically remove the end of the hot dog. I circumcised my hot dog. Oh, to yeah. fit in the Twinkie. Did you? So it'll fit in the bun. Now, did you? Right. Jim that isn't a bun, though. Dog. It's a Twinkie. Now, did you it take? It is the bun, did my you, friend. Did you take no, the cream out of the Twinkie? No. Oh, no, you don't you want to do nuts? that. Why would you take the cream out of the Twinkie? Why would you take the, the cream out? Oh. I'm going to take the Twinkie and, and shove it in there. <laughs> take it, Twinkie. Oh, oh, oh the Twinkie oh, split open. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> let me see. Hold up your Twinkie. Now, Bob's looks oh. like Boy. How does it taste, Bob? Bob is now taking a bite of the cheese Twinkie <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Say the secret word, the duck will come down. Give me on that out. Bob, uh, your thoughts? Mm, not bad. So you've got the, the, the yeah. Twinkie, which is a cake instead of a bread bun. Yeah. It's actually not bad. <laughs> well, Bob likes it. A little sure. sweet taste, a little salty taste. Holy mother of God, this is delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm, Have we done a calorie estimate on this? Uh, <laughs> I want to make a point that Bob is using a, a hot dog to As play. a pointer. As a pointer. 
You have got to try this. Me? Yes. Uh, no. Just one. Yes. One little bite. <laughs> one little bite. Just one on little here. teeny tiny bite. Do you want to here? Your dog at Come me. over here and buy my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we can do it tomorrow. With, if you want to add bacon, oh, we can no, make she's arrangements. Eating it now. She's eating it now. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Go, baby, go. I hope none of this creamy stuff gets on your cheeks. <laughs> now, now, Bob, put your put your hand on the back of her head. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know what that was don't, all don't, about. Don't hold her ears. Oh. Just, uh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Can she, let her put it in her own mouth, for God's sake. Oh, oh yeah. Sweet and salty. Yummy. Christy, your thoughts, please. Uh, <laughs> could you get near the microphone and it's give not, us your thoughts? It's not bad. Don't talk with your mouth full. It's not bad. <laughs> See, how about that? Bingo. Yes, again. Bob and Tom <laughs> Radio. 24-7. How many times have you been auditioning for, like, a civic theater production or a Broadway musical or a church show or a school show or something like that, and you had a great audition, you sang a song, maybe you told a joke or two, and then the director comes up to you and says... Uh, great audition, kid, and uh, your resume looks good, but uh, do you know any pig Latin? <laughs> You'll never be caught in this position again if you enroll now in Haji's Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin. <laughs> At Haji Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin, you'll learn to act your way to some of the world's greatest theatrical masterpieces, and you'll do them entirely in pig Latin. Things like Death of a Salesman. Oh, at ye, e may oh, add day. Nay. Oh, nay. Oh, umbe. Oh, nay. Umbe. Okay, okay. umbe. Old reruns of Hogan's Heroes. Ink clay. Oh, ye, idiot, ye. Oh, ye, ice ray. Enerol J. Orkalter Bay. <laughs> and, of course, the classics of Shakespeare. Ute eBay. Or ye, at ne, ute ibe. At they, is ye, a ye, eschenque. At the way, a ye, There's still some financial scholarships available for women aged 18 to 25. Let me teach you to act in big Latin. For more information, write to Haji or phone 1 800 Akshme. Do it now. <laughs> so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail. Very, um... Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and uh, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... <laughs> Key weather. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. Got joke of the day on the way. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Yes, um, happy to be here um, as we enjoy one of the last few days of... Uh, of standard time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, oh, are we going to hear about this uh, every day? For the in the neck of that. Yeah. This is Arizona, Hawaii, and some other uh, bergs uh, that uh, choose to uh, defy. If they and, don't uh, spring forward, they know about it. And parts of, uh, parts of Oregon. Incredibly confusing. Uh, but uh, we are now no. going to uh, talk with uh, Mr. Huh? McGee about the world of sports. Uh, as we move uh, on. Purdue wins the Big Ten Championship last night. Uh, the uh, It's been the first team in 17 years win consecutive outright Big Ten Championship, and now the tournament uh, is on the way. The Dartmouth men's basketball team has voted to unionize. What? Go ahead and talk among yourselves. I, I knew there'd be static over here. Uh, they are taking an unprecedented step toward forming the first ever labor union for college athletics. Hmm. In a campus election supervised by the NLRB, that's uh, not NRBQ, that's the oh, nice great ah, band. Yeah. Labor Relations Board. The players voted 13 to 2 to join Service Employees International Union Local 560. And there's not two is the number of games they've won this Which year. already represents some Dartmouth workers. I don't think there's any need to bring uh, in their record into it. They've just joined a union. Why did they join a union? Well, because they, they, are, right they consider themselves employees of the college. It's very controversial. We'll see. Okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, and the, yeah, uh, they are not a good basketball team. Not are they being paid to play? 
Uh, no, and well, they're in the NIL they, thing, sure. But they're in, the, but they're in the Ivy League, so there are technically no athletic scholarships. Oh. but that's sort of, sort of BS. <laughs> <No. laughs> Dean Dean Wade, who's with the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, had five three pointers and scored twenty points in the fourth quarter. Cleveland won a replay review in the final seconds to stun Boston in Cleveland, 105-104. Lost by a – Celtics lost by a point. But the Cavaliers win by a point at home. That's a heck of a game. And that's notable because it was Kelsey Brothers night. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Jason and Travis were there with their – they had uh, bobblehead dolls and that were delivered by a, a mascot. It looked like a dog. I'm not sure what it was. Could have mm. been a dog. Could have been a mouse. Could have been <laughs> – uh, is a Cavalier a pirate or something? Cavalier is a uh, swaggering uh, kind of a pilot, kind of a dandy a pirate. pirate. Uh, yes, kind of a uh, flamboyant pirate. Kind of if a you will. scarlet, a lot of pimpernel. A lot, lot of boys in the boat, if you will. <laughs> well, <laughs> think a lot of any port in the storm. A lot of time in the barrel. Is yeah. that what you're, yeah, yeah, that what you're saying? Some of the classics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Kelsey brothers showed up uh, for their own uh, bobblehead giveaway. Uh, Taylor, not there, by the way. The, ta uh, Travis and Jason, Cleveland-born, both in attendance. Uh, they attended Cleveland Heights High School, as explained uh, what seemed like endlessly yesterday by Tom Griswold. My mom went there. A uh, souvenir bobblehead <laughs> depicting the Kelseys in Cavs jerseys and holding basketballs. During the first time out in the opening quarter, the Cavs presented Jason, who retired from the Eagles on Monday after 13 seasons, with a framed number 62 jersey. Yes, that was his number. And <laughs> Travis Kelsey, a star tight end with the Chiefs and Taylor's boyfriend, held his brother's jersey above his head as the crowd war, uh, roared. Uh, by the way, Taylor is on tour in Singapore, it says here. Oh. They had a fine time. Now, if you Google uh, Kelsey Brothers bobbleheads, there are a lot of them, and some of them are collectibles. Um, here's one on eBay for 700 bucks. Whoa. Sure. So uh, that's a really cool promotion that they did, I think. Uh, with the uh, with the Kelsey, th this is a different set of bobbleheads, and I'm trying to figure. Yeah, th they they do, they make an effort to make them look different. One of them has the the big jutting beard. Oh well, that's nice. Jason, mm. so it's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, we could get. Uh, I, I have a. I, I need another bobblehead because my bobblehead I currently have is me sitting on the toilet. No, wait, which doesn't really fit you. No. Mm. By no. the way, I stand corrected. This if this is the one they're giving away, the one I'm looking at now. They both have beards, but one of them is significantly bushier. Sorry. Uh, the, right. chick, the Chick McGee bobblehead is uh, what now? <laughs> Sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet, reading uh, reading a paper or something. That's not appropriate. It kind of looks like me. The head looks like me yeah, a little bit. It's not but, a bad likeness. But um, Maybe I'll get you bobbleheads for Christmas. They are uh, oh, no. stupid pricey. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> get, get us something we like for once. Oh, there's, no, there's, man. A, there's, there's a place that will... Getting you solo stoves ever again. I almost used that pizza stove the other day, by the way, Christy. It's not a, a, a pizza stove. It's a pizza. No, no, Tom got one. I got oh, yeah, Tom did get a pizza stove. Right. Thank you know you, why, pizza. right? Because I bought so many other stoves, they gave me that one for free. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Well, I will accept it gracefully, Well, I figured you would, of all people, I will would use it. it yeah, I, I, I almost did, as I say. He almost used it. I, right. Well, it, Ace, I have things I'm to do. I'm happy that it got to his house. Cleaning I don't up care after a birthday it. party for 15 hours. Uh, now, the, um, uh, there's a place that will make custom <laughs> bobbleheads, right? Oh, yeah. You send him a few pictures. Oh, many, yeah. many, many, many places, yes. Oh, what oh there's, uh, yeah, uh, Jason. I have uh, one. I, I don't know what he does here for the show, but he... Uh, he has his own bobblehead. Yeah, he's got his own bobblehead showing oh, cool. us there through the glass. That's nice. Yeah. Now, mind your business there, Jason. <laughs> yeah. Who made that for you? <laughs> bobblehead people. Friends of the show. Mm. Cool. Well, oh, that sounds good. Is that the same, place that yeah. makes, the same place that makes the, uh, the uh, butt plugs? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he got you. Jeff's You've just been Hoff's ass. Uh, the new hire. <laughs> <laughs> the Hoffmeister. <laughs> pew, pew, That's a jeweler. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we, uh... Uh, here's the uh, daily what's turned into the ski report because Tom has something to do with our, our show. This is a great story. <sighs> 
A skier collided with a chairlift while attempting a big air jump. Oh. Video taken at the Lake Louise. Sweet Louise. Uh, ski resort in Alberta, Canada captured Mr. Ivan Jones. Captured Ivan Jones as he skis down a slope and off a ledge. I mean, this guy's a great skier. Uh huh. The 17 year old, yeah, that uh, depicted by him crashing <laughs> into the chairlift. <laughs> What a great so skier. So he goes, I'm going to okay. explain it, Christy. An, so this guy, in my head, I'm thinking, he's, okay. he goes flying off this sort of ledge. Sure. And I'm not sure if he didn't know it was there, but there's, there's a chairlift. Uh-huh. And he actually runs into one of the chairs, which is whatever, you know, 20 feet off the ground. As great more. skiers will do. And uh, but he's Incredible okay. He's okay. You this all the time. But I did notice that one of the services pulled the video because he's not 18 years of age or older. He's 17. Oh. So that was that they have this thing coming up saying video pulled due to the age. Mm, yeah. It would have been really cool if he'd landed in the seat. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, awesome. He'd be on. Between two people? Oh, my God. It would be. How you doing? That would be the greatest. That would be the You're greatest. You going to finish that cocoa? Oh, God. That would be good. So, you from around here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he goes. Here it is. Yeah, oh, we have video here of it? Here we go. Here we go. Well, there, there he is. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Boom. Did he get hurt? I, no. Why did he choose that area? It's clearly in the... He's jumping he's towards the... He must have been trying to land I, in the uh, chairlift. Maybe no, he was. no, that would kill you. He must have been well, that, Oh, Oh. Yeah, he man. knows the yeah. chairlifts are right there. Landing in the chairlift would have killed you, <laughs> not running into it in midair like yeah. he did. But I mean, that, that, if you they have idiot. Some, they have some other... This guy's a great skier. Okay, but he, <laughs> yeah. he chose the wrong place. Hey, I'm, everybody I'm not, has a problem every I'm, once in a while. I'm not convinced he's a great skier there's other videos of this kid he's amazing yeah as someone who you know what he is he's and what? tom's gonna he, he, this is what he is but tom's not gonna like this he's an influence he's a ski influence uh, yes he is he and, has an and, instagram and, account and, and he'll be influencing a lot of people who are gonna have broken backs <laughs> and, uh, yeah you gotta really know what you're doing to do that but. yeah that's why i don't i that's why i'm wondering why he chose like that path. Yeah. i'd yeah. say we're gonna find out and we're you do any more reading at all he was trying to land in the in the chairlift you wait and see i there's no no other way he would have hit the chairlift. Oh my God, that would oh that would just that would be you would you which would is never, more you no, that's, but that's what these douchebags do for social media. Use your brain, you stupid fool. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. Which hurts more, landing in the chairlift What's or my him under, slamming in the, the side? side of it. I'm just saying. I heard <laughs> that he timed it wrong because he wanted to land in the next chairlift because Gwyneth Paltrow was sitting in it. Oh. And, <laughs> Boy, she has bad luck on yeah. those slopes. Yeah, it's oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, no uh, joke is too old. <laughs> oh, if no joke is too old, then... No yeah. joke is too old. He was hoping to land with Sonny Bono. Here we go. <laughs> no joke is too old. Natasha Richardson, anyone? Anyone? Oh, oh, the saddest oh, one. Yeah. You're going with the, the saddest worst. one. Oh, That's McGee's fault. Oh, <laughs> accidents. God. And Liam Neeson is a national, a <laughs> worldwide <laughs> treasure. Yes, That's what you choose to do. I love that. him. <laughs> well, I blame you. You know, I have a particular... Set her skills. Okay. I'm coming after you, Griswold. Anyway, it's a cool, <laughs> cool video. Congratulations. What's his name, Ivan? Good for you, buddy. What if Liam Neeson walked in here right now with a snow shovel? <laughs> Griswold. <laughs> Hold still. Would you just stand up? You and don't think I have a ton now, you big pussy. <laughs> Are, aren't you the one who told me that uh, Liam Neeson's going to be in a new series of movies? Yes. Right? It's very yeah. exciting. Oh, uh, really? When we come back, absolutely. Oh, okay. this, is, this is great. Yeah, I, my apologies to the... Big time news. Uh, uh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, apologies right now. to who? The Richardson family. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Probably <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you about Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Listen to me now. Believe me later. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at around half the price of other premium audio brands. There you go. Listen to those on those Raycon earbuds. That's the sound of a genuine Chris Craft. Don't believe me? <laughs> now... Now, here's the Raycon the earbuds don't make the sound when they start up. That's, oh, that's from the other earphones. Yeah. <laughs> that's the real Chris Craft. That's the Raycon. The Raycon earbuds. <laughs> Raycon's optimized gel tips fit every ear ever made, and they actually stay in your ears. What a concept. Raycon stay in place with eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and you don't have to worry about whether they're up for the task. You can enjoy features like their easy-to-use earbud tap functions, noise isolation, awareness mode, and, of course, 
don't worry, we have a deal for you. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping. 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. One more time, buyraycon.com slash Tom. Uh, and I once again recommend the full Raycon headphones. Got them for my girls before our last trip, and uh, they were in the back seat of the car, quiet. Really shut them up. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're listening to stuff, watching videos, having the best time. They're never going, are we there yet? Nope. Try the Raycon earbuds. You'll thank me. Uh, or you can just thank me uh, uh, with a nice letter to Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you. Don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> A lion. Mm -hmm. I've always said, I don't. A lion? I would love. Now, I, I know this is crazy <laughs> that I thought about this. What now? I would never go into the wilderness and get an, and have a lion because they they belong. I, right. You know, you know where they belong. But if somebody like uh, maybe they worked at the zoo and there was a lion and 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 it had to live in a house, but it had to be sedated all the time. And I How could squeeze from it. A cub. A race from a cub. <laughs> yes. Know you. And I would love a lion. Why? Just because they're so cute, I would just bite them all the time. <laughs> Their face. That They'll, little nose. They bite back. I think believe it or not. Back. Yeah. You know, their dogs, teeth are bigger. Nick mm -hmm. has raised a very interesting point. What? Which is uh, the essence of it, I think you said. Just because you like something, you don't have to have it. Well, I've always been, you know, somewhat uh, controlled by my finances. So mm. there's a lot of stuff that even if I did want, I couldn't have. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. I mean, I, I, I literally, and I'm, uh, I I have panic attacks. Well, I'll, I'll I'll get done with the workout, and I go, I want to go get one of those really nice, like, $6 smoothies. And I'll think about it for, like, uh, can I, uh, do I <laughs> should I treat myself? Is it, uh, am I worth it? Yes, I, 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 You're I, worth six bucks. You know what yeah. says, says something? You think... I think in my head I'm probably the only one doing this. Right. I was at um, uh, 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 a place. Whole Foods, Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and they had these like expensive lemonades. I don't know how to explain it, mm -hmm. but the tops were the type where it had a metal top, and you would pull it open, and the rubber it would be a rubber seal Ooh. like the old yeah. days. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and it was yeah. like a little bit extra. But I had friends coming in from out of town, and I know this is crazy. I thought this. I thought it'll look good in the refrigerator, you know. And I, <laughs> I was at Whole Foods, and I bought milk in the glass. I wanted it to look. Yeah. You know, like my home, it was a home, Homey. you know, like my mom's house. Right. Yeah. So I walked over and I went to buy it. It was two bucks more than regular lemonade. Mm -hmm. Then I walked away. And then mm -hmm. I went back. I went, what are you doing? <laughs> you are a full-grown adult <laughs> and over two dollars, get the god dang <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> well, it worked because I'm not kidding you because, but the outcome is how I reacted. My sister-in-law was there and she mm -hmm. opened the refrigerator and, you know, I go over, all my brothers are married, their refrigerators are filled with, so I, she opens up, she goes, oh, fancy lemonade. I was like, oh, yeah, you know. I, <laughs> wow. I, I didn't act like, I, I acted like, yeah, that's the type I buy. <laughs> totally worth it. Yeah. Totally oh, worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. As I only half it's there, I left the other half in the Rolls and it's spoiled. Yeah. 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 I'm having the Rolls Royce fixed. Well, I, that's I, why I, I'm driving this. I would have got the milk in the jug, but my lion ate it. So. <laughs> yeah, my lion likes it out of the glass. <laughs> right. Yeah. My, <laughs> we all do weird things. Today, he'll kick your ass. Be there. Bob and Tom 24-7.
Isle of Palms, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. This Beautiful from, place. This is from USA Today. Beachgoers who build sandcastles will have to knock them down before leaving under a proposed... <laughs> Proposal being considered by the city council. Here, here. Well, really, the uh, ocean getting lazy, is What's, it? Uh, yeah. The, unsightly, <laughs> the unsightliness Are we of making sand the castles? ocean work too hard? <laughs> what the hell? Is this a problem? Violators serious? could get a ticket from $128 to $500. $500? All right, little boy. Oh, sure. That's it's a, according to square footage, I think. We're assessing that sandcastle. That's going to cost you 1200 bucks a year. Oh, my God. They have nothing better to do. It, it turns out that, yeah, the problem is that... Uh, people trip. People were leaving huge moats. And, really? Uh, yeah, they were... Break, falling, breaking their legs, falling in the moat. I see. Break a hip. Uh, <laughs> so maybe sure, they should sure. make moatless uh, sandcastles. That's no fun, Bob. You can't have now a, with no moat. The, the, the whole point <laughs> is to have the. the Why the, do you need a moat? To protect your sandcastle. Uh, yeah. This is why only men make sandcastles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is that why? This is because I've they figure the, the sandcastle sand is the perfect metaphor for their life. They work hard, build something, and then a woman comes along and it gets washed away. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. (laughs) Jeez. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile. But it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show. (laughs) Well, wow, hello there, Chick. Hi, how are you? Well, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Well, talking to yourself? Much. What are you, crazy? <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, oh. That was a hit. A big, big hit. Can you Tom, believe it? <laughs> yes. Tom and I were just talking about our experiences <clears throat> in school and how there can be crueler days than others. Sure. And yesterday we were talking about nicknames that some kids have. Mm-hmm. Or that sometimes you'd give your buddies or whatever in school. Well, this one, uh, this letter that we just received sort of encapsulates both topics. Uh, Yesterday, you were talking about high school nicknames. We had a girl at our school with a very large chin. We called her Chinsonati. (laughs) Chin. I'm sorry for that. That is, at at some point, (laughs) bullying... (laughs) It's so funny that you. It's harder to get upset about the bully. I bet she didn't think so. Well, I, um, yeah. I pray they didn't say it to her. Man. We had a uh, chin sonetti. I'll have to delicately. How do I get this out without uh, someone that I knew um, uh, married a woman uh, who was uh, well endowed. Yes. And uh, <laughs> uh, in our little circle, everyone referred to her as. Carnegie Mellons. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes old Carnegie Mellons. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> referencing, of course, Pittsburgh. and the, uh, We have a Pittsburgh story coming up involving bowling. Kids um, are so cruel. Oh, yeah. They, oh, they, they, this would have been... Uh, uh, we, we were in we, grade we, school. We were kids of age 23, oh, I believe, well, at the wedding. Uh, I know we were in grade school. A friend school of mine a uh, went Oof. to school with a girl who was like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and she wasn't overweight. She was just... So, uh, a tall big girl. And big, yeah. They called her the Big Show <laughs> after the wrestler. It, it could have been the Undertaker. That's kind of sweet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here comes Big Show. I no matter what, you it, it's hard. Yeah, yeah I can't even there. tell you what we called one kid in grade school because I'm afraid he might be listening. And to this day, I feel bad about it. I can't like, tell you some of the things I was called. Uh, uh, yeah, really? yeah. It, oh, oh, sure. I, I so bad for this guy. Wasn't everybody uh, Stuart, bullied to if you're listening. Extent? Sure. Or yeah. at least a tease. I, you know. uh, what of it, Blarney? <laughs> I used to get freckle faced, which I hated. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Well, really? Freckles are ugly. <laughs> they oh, they are not. Awful, huh? They're angel kisses. Did you know yeah. that? Is that right? Yeah. I Before, thought they were uh, dimples. Cigarette ashes. It looks more like <laughs> explosive diarrhea on my face. I hate oh, it. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. If, I'm just saying. That's well, how, kids, were, that's how the kids what? were. Hey, you got diarrhea in your face. It <laughs> does look like that explosive cool. diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, the thank you. No, I, oh. I, I, we've all seen his freckles in the portrait. Yes, of the, and they're adorable. adorable. Yeah, well, yeah. When you're a kid and you know, the other kids are g- telling you that, you, you know, 
Yeah. No, no, I guess. Face, our kids are awful to each other, yes, and anyone who are. says they're not is wrong. Right. I just made some, I was observing some kids the other day, and I went, geez, these kids hate each other. They can be very <laughs> sweet, and they can be absolute monsters, yes. But it makes just you like, tougher in the just end, like right? Just <laughs> Yeah. Well, and it, yeah, it does. It should. Uh-huh. But I, I remember we got a letter from a guy whose mom had been a teacher for, like, 50 years, and she said she could always tell which third grader was going to end up in prison. Oh, <laughs> is that right? Remember that letter? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, it's tough. A couple quick things. Speaking of letters, this oh, you is for Tom. Mm. Um, this is Brian from Converse, Indiana. Every time Tom plays the Chris Craft Motor, I think he's going to play Hot for Teacher from, uh, <laughs> from Van Halen. And if you remember Hot for Teacher, there's that drum. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right at the start of it. Yeah. Boy, that's a great record. Yeah, it is. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Now that, that's that. Okay, here we want to hear the Chris Craft again. There's a Chris Craft. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's dead on. Hey, hey that, 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 that man is a genius. Yes, that's Incredible. great. Who's that from? It's dead on. Uh, Brian from Converse, Indiana. And oh, uh, that's where the bitch will make the shoes. Yeah, yeah he has right. to wear Converse there. The mayor's name's Chuck Taylor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, this is from Dean. Uh, good morning, Tom. Uh, the sound you're playing from the Chris Craft boat, according to this guy, I don't want to start anything. He says this is a Packard straight eight engine. That's correct. Packard, a very prestigious luxury and yeah. sports car from the twenties. Yeah, they were. They put them in boats. That's it's the a, whole point. It's a Packard. Yeah, just they, it's they just Chris sound amazing. You'll hear those and just want to just run down to your dock and watch it pass by. I don't know what's worse, him agreeing with the fact I've come up with, or him disagreeing with the fact I come no, up. No, that's with. correct. They they both make me <laughs> really angry. Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. That's of course. You're, that's because you're not a boat guy. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't know that? <laughs> When's the last time? I didn't know right. that. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you were in a boat? I don't like boats. I don't like the water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I don't like the water. No, I don't care for it. No. Do you know how to swim? Given a choice, yes, I can swim, but I'd just rather not have anything to do with it. All right. Okay. Is that all right with you? It is. Absolutely. Don't you have things that you don't like to do? No. Oh, Talk man. to me, yeah. number one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Working together. You know, you're, you're correct. There are many things I don't like to do. I just, I do like boats. Well, good for you. You ever water skied? No. <laughs> you, ever get, you ever get towed behind a boat in like some kind of... Uh, mm -mm. Tubing? Tubing thing? Yeah. You might you know. enjoy that. I told you I like pontoons. I like you like the, a lazy river, don't I you? I like um, yeah. Until I heard there was full of piss. I I, I didn't really ruin those for you. Yes, you did. yes, you did. How did you not know they were full of piss when you <laughs> pee in them? You yes. pee in lazy. I, I guess I guess I knew it, but I didn't want to be aware of it, and you made it more real. Is what if what I told happened. you this? Every lazy river has a filtration system that as soon as the urine hits the water, it's gone in five seconds. Dissipates, yeah. yeah. Boop. Well, I, I, I don't believe you. Oh, it's because it's a lie. Yeah. I'm trying to help. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's move forward. And here. I know because I pee. Uh, oh, I pee in the lazy river all the time. Who does? I mean, it's the best. Wasn't that, wasn't that one of those books? No, no. You can <laughs> uh, Yellow River by I you pee daily. Absolutely hope I'm only peeing. Oh, shit. <laughs> it really? Boy, that is lazy. That's a real lazy river. <laughs> all right, that's why I don't like the water that much. It really gets me going. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> I need to have a bathroom process. Yeah, if I don't. So you can't even take a bath. What is it? IP IP daily. Oh no, that was Rusty Bread's Rusty Bed Springs by IP Nightly. Nightly. Mm -hmm. Yellow River by uh, who was that one? I thought that was IP Daily. IP Daily. Yeah, I think I've heard IP Freely also. Oh, that may uh. be Yellow River. Yeah. <laughs> They're all offensive. <laughs> I heard I was a lady Russian wrestler by Tortor Titoff. I love that one. Yeah. That's a classic. Here's yeah. the 1920 uh, vintage uh, Packard Chris Craft. Uh, if you'd like to. Available uh, right now. You have a few hundred thousand dollars. Uh, oh. Ah, dang it. How much they want down? Uh, what's, yeah, what's the... Uh, What's the down on this? What's five hundred? Five hundred down. How about they get ready? I don't care. Sandpaper. I don't care what the price is. What's the monthly payment? Uh, there we yeah. go. Um, uh, what have you got over there in sports? Uh, oh, this is an update from a story we had yesterday. A veteran musher had to kill a moose after it injured his dog shortly after the start of this year's oh. Iditarod Trail sled dog race. Five time, five time Iditarod champion Dallas Seavey informed race officials the moose became entangled with the dogs and he was forced to shoot 
dispatch, do away with the animal and self-defense. Yeah, so it's interesting to know that these guys are all strapped. Well, yeah. Oh, sure. I You're mean, they're, they're in, in the middle of nowhere. Bear uh, country. And, sure. Hell yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. Be attacked and by maybe a polar bear. The, there could be another musher ahead of you. That's the thing. If you're and you want to be in first, yeah, this guy's oh, in right. second place. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he won five times? Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm so close to being in in first place. I'm in first. <laughs> hey. Now, are you allowed to take those dogs and add them to your? Uh, oh, that'd be funny. I think so. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you had 80 dogs. <laughs> Can you imagine the play-by-play -play guy? <laughs> the guy who won was going 180 miles an hour. <laughs> But I think you'd like the, uh, the the documentary I watched about uh, the Iditarod. I'd love it. And the the the, the work it takes oh, to, yeah. to take care of those dogs. I can only imagine. Around, around the, and I didn't they know that. Yeah. He had this giant, it, it was a wheel-like device. Do you have to bone you the fish? Wheel! Oh, no, fish! No, they, they chew, they, and they put the wheel, and the, the wheel is entirely full of fish, and you just put it on the, and you know, it's cold up there. Right. And the fish just freeze, and it's That's amazing. That's great. Yeah. So they amazing. eat fish pups? I love all that stuff. Fish. I like that fish journey pops. song, Wheel of Fish Keeps on Turning. <laughs> oh, yes. Like that's a classic. Uh, so there's more interesting stuff in the story about the Iditarod guy that I think is fascinating because Christy kind of alluded to it. What's that? The 37-year-old uh, CV said uh, in a television uh, interview, the moose fell on my sled. It was sprawled on the trail. I gutted it the best I could, but it got ugly. Race officials said every effort was being made to salvage the moose meat. After the encounter, CV arrived at the Finger Lake checkpoint and dropped the dog that was injured by the moose. The dog flown to Anchorage, where it was being evaluated by a veterinarian, but I also told it was a good boy. When yeah, they got by yeah. they're all good boys. It did get messy, though. As soon it as they did? sliced open that moose, mm -hmm. that, that little Kittner boy spilled out all over the ground. Oh, a Jaws <laughs> reference. <Yeah. laughs> Very nice. Uh, but that, that, little, uh, that, that will not be the most obscure reference of the show, but I certainly enjoy it. A license plate. And that's yeah. one, I think that's one of the great scenes in that movie, that woman. Who, oh, sm who slaps Roy Scheider? You, oh, yeah, you feel uh, I don't know who she was, but well, that was some fine yeah. work. Mrs. Oh. Kittner. What about Richard Dreyfus chewing the scenery? <gasps> That's a great scene. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I yeah. like that. It starts. Pulls out the license plate. It's oh, a oh, great yeah. scene. Hang on a second. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, this almost, was no boat accident. It's almost as good as this work in uh, The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why you don't like that movie. It's tremendous. There are Jack some... Warden. Randy well, Quaid. It's, it's like saying uh, uh, the the Man in the Moon movie that lasts ten seconds when the rocket hits it in the eyeball. Remember, it was made in nineteen twenties. Sure. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's still a good movie. Now, um, we do have a world record. A coming trip up. to the moon, I think, is what that's called. Uh, yeah, I think it is a trip. And he so we'll see, we'll, we'll, the rocket. We'll see how this guy does in the Iditarod. <laughs> Had to slow him down. I mean, to gut a moose. Well, oh yeah, my gosh! Of course, but it would. can he do the Fandango? <laughs> got a moose, got a moose, can he do the fine dango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very bright in me. Galileo, 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 Galileo. Hot for queen. Ah, uh, no, hot for boats. Where is it? <laughs> it's it's identical. <laughs> Absolutely. I wonder if Alex Van Halen's a boat guy. Maybe. He might be. He can afford it. Well, he's, Alex is great. Alex is a... You, you were here. You met him, right, Ace? Nice times. The nicest guy. Couldn't have been a nicer guy. I was very pleased yeah. to meet him. Um, you have to, Do you beg to differ, Chad? No. I you, you, can never, any, you can never, remem you can never remember any of the guests that are here. Only... I try to forget what Dennis you say Hopper. to me, and I think it all, <laughs> it all gets <laughs> mushed together. Okay, could we move on? <laughs> I've often wondered that. <laughs> Nudists in Pittsburgh are hosting a nude bowling event where being naked is required. Question. Mm. I know what you're going to ask. <clears throat> then you ask it. Do they have to wear <laughs> shoes? Exactly. <laughs> I, I had no idea what the question would be, and that is a fair question. They absolutely yeah. have to. Yeah, they got to wear bowling yeah, shoes, wear bowling right? Shoes. Yeah. yeah. Because part of bowling is being able to slide a little of bit course. on the Of course. Yeah, you couldn't do it in bare feet. No. And if you dropped a ball on your bare feet, no. ouch. Not to mention other things you could drop a ball on. No. So naked bowling. What if one of the women mm. dropped a ball on her tee? Yeah, her bow tee. Uh, just keep reading the story, yeah. please. Ah! Okay.
Uh, balls out bowling is what it's called. Uh, really? At Crafton Ingram Lanes. <laughs> It'll be on April 28th. Anyone over the age of 18 is welcome to attend. No. Of course. They had the preschool nude bowling. <laughs> God. No. Well, you ever see those pictures of those nudist camps and it's all oh. ages? Oh, well, yeah. listen to this part. All is right. everybody ready? I'm ready. Anyone over the age of 18 is welcome to attend. Nudity is required with the exception that women can wear bottoms. Well, what? that's not nude. That's not then, nude. Is it? No. No, I want to see that 7 10 split. The ball. Yeah. The ball. Scott and Moose, Scott and Moose, can you do the clam bango? And uh, it would be a little clam. awkward, though. Yeah, but if the woman. guy's wangs the are out, out his clams out. <laughs> yeah, that's, boy, he's, that's he's got a code. <laughs> Wouldn't you see the? Wouldn't a girl have to s sit in front of the ball return? And <laughs> oh, or, or stand or over stand the, the, the handle. Oh, the jokes that could be made too. Oh God! Yeah. Careful, Carol. You don't want to lose another one up oh, there. Oh God! <laughs> hey, I saw you brought your bag in, Dave. Is it a two baller? <laughs> careful, Carol. Careful, Carol. You didn't have to say it twice. I <laughs> did. Hey, you're a bowler, Josh. The guys that have the two balls in their bag. Yeah. Do they use them both in the same game? Yeah, they will. Yeah, it depends on what they're trying to... And that's legal. Yes. So it's like a is, putter. Is one of them driver? heavier than is the other? Is that heavy to carry? One is steadier kind of than the other. Um, one, uh, I, I forget exactly what the... They, they have different cores, and so they move I differently. See, I yeah. see. You watch bowling on TV, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's uh, become quite the thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not like when we were growing up. <laughs> chick, chick, I, you I'm not kidding. That's sad. That, that is no. sad. <laughs> they have like cheering sections, no, and no, it's no. just it's incredible. Fun. Yeah, it's great. I watch it while I'm and I YouTube. You know how to do things uh -huh. <laughs> on with on the bowling alley. Yeah. We haven't. We have not been in a long time. We started going weekly, and we need to. Do you have well, a glove? No, I don't use the glove. No. Hmm. You do, you, don't. do you do the spin so it curves and arches into the... I muscle it. I don't. I, I, I have, and t t with mixed success. Okay. But uh, we have a lot of uh, pretty decent bowlers here. Do you think you could do it naked? Could I bowl naked? Yeah. Absolutely. You think yeah. so? Yeah. Was... I wouldn't be comfortable, no. You'd do it? No. I thought you meant, do I have the ability to do it? Yes. Would I? No. Okay. I would not. I wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't I like... It. Yeah. I, I, I have another... Do you like being naked? I do. At home, I'm often naked. Okay, but in public? Yeah, that's a, that's a different That'd thing. That would be a little it? different? Yeah. Okay. As you guys know, I'm, I, I, I've am i talked about this very freely. I'm a, a grower, not a shower. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. I think people would, some, some people would go, oh, that poor man. But if I went, hey, hey, give me two minutes, <laughs> they'd be like, oh, I, we were way wrong, sir. And, and your phone. Um, <laughs> oh, that poor man. I, 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 have a, I do have a complaint. About? Uh, the original source on this is uh, WTRF, and they uh, I they refer to them instead of as nudists as naturists, which I think is a cop out. Um, the, na the, 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 I think technically that's correct. Then. No, no, that's the the nudie people are trying to pull this off as if it's uh, naturist to me sounds awfully close to naturalist. Sounds like if you say you're a naturist, they think you're going to go bird watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I own it. You're right. So naturalists, bird watch, naturists, or nudists. Well, yeah, but I'm. Okay. I think they're trying to. This is one of those things they're trying to politically correct the words. Doesn't make if you're bold enough to be naked in public. Yeah. be bold enough to use the term nudist. nudist. Yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with the television show called Celebrity Bowling? Uh, I am not. Back in the 70s, from 1971 to 1970. You can watch old clips. They're great. Yeah. Uh, Jed Allen was your host, but they have unbelievable guests. Bob Newhart. That's one of the videos I watched. James, oh, really? James Ferentino, Dick Martin of Dan Rohn and oh. Dick Martin, Ernest Borgnine, Richard Dawson, Ed Asner, Artie Johnson. Dude, what, what era is this? Seven, er, 71 to 78. Did they get Nixon? Joanne Flug. Oh. Nixon was, you know, Nixon, didn't he cover the... Uh White House Sweet pool where Kennedy yeah. swam naked with Marilyn Monroe and put in a bowling alley, right? I don't There's a famous, see. Pretty much kind of says it all. Famous any. picture of him bowling? It's cool. Huh. I don't see any mention of... Oh, uh, Spiro. Nixon. I take over. I'm going to go bowl for I, I, I say, love I, I say b 52 is over. No, I'm going to go see if I can break 200. You derailed us into the Nixon. Uh, bowl with me, Henry. <laughs> you mean <laughs> pussy? Have a beer. <laughs> I want to go bowling with you guys. Charlie well, you know that the invites are for everybody. No. Yeah, yeah of course. Exactly. George Foreman, celebrity bowler. Are you still reading those? Newhart was good, man. Clean Stevenson. 
I think I saw Newhart bowl against McLean Steve. I think that was who the, he was. Is going that right? Against. It was awesome. McLean I like Stevenson, of course, from the great show Hello Larry. Whoa! Not mentioning the Love Boat or <laughs> Mash. 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 Famous flop. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of. Um, the captain, Captain Steubing. Oh, did you know that he, Aaron McGavin, McGavin yeah, Stevenson, yeah. when he decided Whatever to leave his, Mash, his name? he didn't know that they were going to kill, kill him, him off. off. They did that so he they weren't come happy. Back. Was he Trapper John? No. Who was he? he Colonel was Blake. Colonel Henry Colonel Blake. Blake. Head okay, guy. thank you. Colonel Henry. He was Blake. great in that, and then unfortunately things did not go well. Uh, what am I? Uh, what am I signing radar? More sports coming up. Gavin McLeod is who you're thinking. Yes, thank you. So we don't know if they have to wear bowling shoes. And they have to wear bowling, bowling shoes. They would have to. Okay, all right. Or and you'd hear the feet squeak on Or them. you'd fall down. <laughs> yeah, you'd stop and come to a dead stop. Uh, yeah. 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 You know someone's <laughs> going to stand over that hand warmer. Oh, they have You know oh, that's yeah, gonna it's got to be. Sure. Yeah. Things Should are getting a little dewy down ball there, Dave. Sweat. Yeah. Is, okay. it, uh, is it fish night? Oh, Tear okay. out that taint. No, what about the guys in the ball sweat? That'd be awful. Uh, coming ball up, sweat. we have... Smells <laughs> like roses. Uh, we have wild turkeys in the news. Chocolate chip cookie. And the word terrorizing. <laughs> That's right. That sounds we like come a back. yeast infection. Excuse, Excuse me. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, also, we have a hilarious uh, thing that happened in Chile I with the Star Wars movie. I bet oh. it's... I bet it's... And I have what doctors call toll house taint. <laughs> Really? It's about, it's really like chocolate including chip. the chocolate chips. <laughs> what is it like uh, dappled? Like a see that might be dappled and smells of chocolate chips. Cooking. Chocolate chips might uh, be okay, chocolate chip. poo. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns, plus Don't Forget. Did you see the word Don't Forget? <laughs> no, but it's all, but it's like it's like it half a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a over. Wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show, that's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself, yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! in love right now. My boyfriend and I are walking around town in a two-headed Snuggie. <laughs> um, it's getting pretty intense. Oh, yeah, nice. it's yeah. pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad, you know, because I, I have a hard time listening to the, the love, you know, love songs with Delilah. Where are you calling from tonight? Uh. Where are you? What's going on with you tonight? What's your name? <laughs> Requests and dedication. <laughs> Hi, Amy, calling in from Tustin, Arizona. What's going on with you tonight? <laughs> you and Matt broke up. That's hard. What do you want to say to Matt tonight? <laughs> we'll play that for you. That's Penny Lover by Lionel Richie. Penny Lover. Oh, oh you know what? I've had enough. That's, I, that's it. I'm, I'm in love with her. I remember that very well. Maria, that is... Uh, for, those that, <laughs> for those that get that... Yes. Oh, and for those that don't, you should listen to Delilah just so you do. Just that yeah. one just time. So get so the joke. Intense. They should have those songs. Aren't they're not good for people's mental health. Like they should have little footnotes at the end of every verse. You know, I would cross an ocean for you if that ocean led to an English-speaking country. Because at this point in my life, it'd be really difficult to learn a second language fluently. Not to mention the anti-American sentiment. We'd have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Wow, you are quite the literalist, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, I would die for you if I were already dying and you just needed my giblets. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Bamford is our guest. She's not kidding. <laughs> we salute you, Orenthal James Simpson, NFL Hall of Famer, accused murderer, and free American citizen. <laughs> this has been Bob and Tom Super Bowl Trivia. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Actor and comedian Jim Gaffigan is here with us. Oh, that guy is funny. He's Yay. very funny. He's great. I'm a big fan of his. We were talking about your, believe this. your great love of food. <laughs> yes. I, that's exactly what I was going to ask him. When and you're in the refrigerator, I know... Didn't you say that you were a vegetarian? So. I'm not. I'm not a, a strict vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I, I eat beef and pork <laughs> <laughs> and, and chicken, but, but not fish because that's disgusting. Sure. <laughs> How can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. Mm -hmm. Well, this smells like a dumpster. Let's eat it. Yeah. I can't believe we're still serving fish with the heads on there. Oh yeah. Don't you I always feel like that eyes looking at you like, hey, uh, hey, you don't mind if I watch what you eat in my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be distracted a little tear comes out. You can just tell yourself it's butter. <laughs> oh. yeah. What if a fish was listening? With us in the studio, comedian uh, Christaki Economopoulos. Now, we talked a little bit about your love life. What's happening with it again? You're oh, I've got a girlfriend. She's great. Mm -hmm. and we're knocking around and having a good time. And So you have no children. Right? I have no children. Mm -hmm. Here's Here's the first time of me getting old, all right? Here's the first time of me as an old guy. I give my girlfriend a really good back massage, like 40 minutes. Then it's my turn. I lay down. She just barely starts to rub my back. This is true. And she reaches down and, <laughs> yeah. and says, are you sure you want me to rub your back? And I said, yes. <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> true enough. Oh, my God. What am I, 100? <laughs> hey, it's comedian Roy. The roof. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Here's Tom making a uh, dog noise. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, coming up, we're going to get some noise out of Ace Cosby with that Ace Cosby joke of the day. Also coming up, Allie Breen and Sexy Town. A special early edition. We've got a special announcement coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, on the topic of announcements, this show will be uh, broadcasting live from... Charleston, West Virginia, Friday, April 5th. Charleston. Thank Charleston. you, Rock 105 WKLC. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be at the, uh, the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center featuring, uh, we'll have Duke Tomato and the Brass to Mouth Horns. And the crew will be there live and in person. Then that evening, we're doing a comedy show. And we will feature, among others, Josh. Yay! Who may be bringing those vinyl albums with him. That's Why not? Exciting. Why not? Uh, Josh, yeah. uh, Willie G. Patty G will be there. Christy and I will be your hosts. Uh, Jeff Oskey on stage. It's going to be a great night. I think tickets for that sale go on. Tickets for that show go on sale. Maybe it's tomorrow. I guess. But anyway, that's that's coming up. So uh, thank you, uh, Rock One Hundred Five WKLC. 
Uh, and uh, now we return the microphone to Mr. McGee across the way um, after our nude bowling segment. Uh, Sounds like you want to add something. No, to no, to no, 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 no. I just, that, that oh. was just so, uh, we had a couple of valid questions. Mm -hmm. We found out that this nude bowling, you have to be over 18, of course. I, I heard no valid questions. I heard. Yes, do you have to wear bowling shoes? Yeah. Idiotic comments. Do you rent them? <sighs> you go to rent them? You... I bet you're allowed to bring your own and or rent. Just saying. Do you have your own ball? You do, don't you? No, I have my own shoes. Oh. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Shoes first, then. Huh? I would think you yeah. need to... You know, Ace, uh, Ace has a kiss bowling go. ball. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it's awesome. my fault. I'm it's sure. not drilled, though, is it? No. Are yeah. you going to drill it? Eventually. Okay. No, you won't. No. Right after, won't. right after he gets his window <laughs> fixed in his car. Okay. <laughs> are we, are we closing in on a year that's been broken? <laughs> it has no, to be. summer. No, no. It was, so we're closing in on a year. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> poor guy. I'm sorry. So I, uh, back poor to you. Poor guy. Well... I've offered to personally take we, the car to get it fixed. Uh, something. I was wrong. going to get it fixed, but something came up. What, <laughs> yeah. You mentioned it. I'm yeah. telling you. Something came he up. He puts it off four in weeks. the life of Ace Cotter, I think, what could that Look, be? we can get Eddie to come in here and run the board, run the thing over there, whatever uh, that's here called. Comes, here comes his brilliant idea. How about... How and about, then we send, we, send, <laughs> we send Mike Mark out By with the Ace. way, thank you for giving Ace a job, Tom. I appreciate it. He won't say that, but I appreciate uh, it. There's a <laughs> great mechanic. What is it? A mile from here? Yes. Tremendous guy. Yes. Beautiful shop. Nice and clean. Does great work. <laughs> he stole change out of my... Uh, we'll have him fix your car, <laughs> and then you can phone in, because it's not going to take the guy more than half an hour. I'm getting a text. Oh, both Eddie and Mike Mark have hanged themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy stole like $9.32 and quarters out of my car. Thank Did you. He? <laughs> he absolutely did. I think, that the, I think the window has just fallen down into the door. It's not broken. All they yes, gotta do is uh, take We've gone over this a thousand. So let him look at it. Him fix it. <laughs> he, but let him fix it. He's upset about this. Just like you almost used the pizza oven. Uh, I almost right. cut my window. All yeah. right. Okay, fine. I was gonna use the pizza oven, but I could barely walk after cleaning up the How is home. Tom in trouble <laughs> for you not being able to take care of, I don't know, life? I don't get it. <laughs> See, and then Eddie could do the Ace Cosby joke of the day from over there. Can Eddie tell a joke? Of oh, course he funny. can. Another text. Eddie can do anything. Eddie Anybody has, can... Eddie has re hanged himself. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can tell a joke except me. Okay. okay? Right. okay. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, that. but we oh. love the way you tell them. It's charming. I like your attempts. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, just keeps no, running now his, I'm sorry. <laughs> running his trap. Now, now, now Josh is hanging himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming up, Ace, something in the news uh, that affects you. Okay. Uh, according to this uh, story that Christy is going to read later, uh, dining turnoffs, one of the major turnoffs on a date for a diner is to order a well-done steak. Oh. Yeah. No, I learned a new term last time we went out. What, what was, was it? it? No pink. No pink. Oh. <laughs> you don't eat no pink. <laughs> well, that's, well, once that, again, that, now I'm hanging myself. <laughs> once again, we, we'd like to word. welcome to reinforcing stereotypes. <laughs> On today's show, we whip out the cool cigarettes and talk about no pink. Oh, um, boy. Back to you, Chick. <laughs> oh, boy. Good morning, beautiful people, especially Chick, this says. Oh. I thought you would enjoy knowing that Don Knotts... Oh, uh, go over who Don Knotts is, Tom. <laughs> walk us, walk uh, us through this. Very fine actor. Barney Fife, of course, a legendary... I thought player. you would enjoy Don Knotts has a book on how to build and repair with concrete. Oh. My company tests concrete for a living, and we love his book. Uh, what? It, it's Don Knotts sitting on the cover... It says how to build and repair with concrete, the complete do-it-yourself manual. Quote, if I can do it, you can do it. How odd. That is odd. That's what he is. <laughs> you got paid to be a spokesman? No, he, he worked. He did concrete for a living. Acting was his hobby. I see. <laughs> How weird. Okay. I mean, Fascinating. There, there are some very talented actors in other fields, of course. Sure. Yeah, Harrison Ford. Uh, uh, Jeremy uh, Renner. Uh, Collins uh, Park. Uh, Carpenter. <laughs> Nick Offerman. The, the finest Copperman. Yes, yeah, uh, the finest Carpenter, probably Nick Offerman. Mm. Uh, yeah. He can make a... Uh, you, you can buy a boat. You can buy a wooden boat from Nick. A canoe out of a tree, right? Karen was a pretty good Carpenter. <laughs> 
Go ahead. Didn't do it as long as... Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, is, no, this, just is, is this the sound of her playing drums or a Chris Craft? <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of her after lunch, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Alex Van Halen oh, there it playing drums. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, don't give her the credit she deserves for playing the drums. She's good. Very good. She was a hell of a drummer. Well, a lot, it's drummer. Hal Blaine on most of the albums. Oh, oh no. She's don't take away played. that away from wonderful Sorry. player. Lovely Karen Carpenter. Oh, she was oh, nice boy, that's Superstar. Player. That'll bring you to tears. One Gorgeous one. song. No, no. Chick? Well, you know the Carpenters didn't write that. Uh, Leon Russell wrote that. And, uh, <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, he was an amazing great. artist, and he also could uh, uh, he could <laughs> fix uh, an electrical system with just a, a screwdriver and some electrical tape. And chewing, <laughs> chewing, chewing gum. Uh, chewing is gum. that sports? <laughs> no. Yeah. More wanna, sports coming up. Do you want to give us the teaser? No. Well, okay. Uh, hockey mom. Hockey fight. Hockey fight! Okay, world record involving pheasants. Good old fashioned. Pheasants. Mm. Don't. Pheasants. Question. Don't sell that one. Question. Yeah. I have a tactical question. <laughs> this I need someone up. to help me with this. Is a pheasant the same thing as a partridge? Yes. What? It is? It is? Not at all. I don't think no? even oh, close. I think no. a pheasant's way bigger than a partridge. Yeah. Isn't a pheasant's like... A pheasant's a lizard, isn't it? But oddly <laughs> enough... It's a lizard family. Oddly enough, pheasants are the ones that live in pear trees. Oh. oh. Partridges have hutches. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous hutches. Did you know that? Hutches. Uh, so it should be a partridge in a hutch. Yes. And, or a pheasant rise. in a pear tree. It's one syllable. In a pear tree. I see. Well, we'll find out about pear trees and the like and bowling shoes. Two um, turtle doves. Shirley this, Jones was a good partridge. Yeah, I, this this oh, is yeah. the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the... Hi, Christy. Thanks for coming in. Oh, hi, Chick. How are you? Um, we put on our Facebook if you'd like to ask Christy some questions. And we, we call... did? I don't know who it okay. is. I, I'm saying we. Okay. I had nothing to do with this. Right. It says, ask Christy. And they sent questions in, and here's what happened. These are things people, our fans, our listeners want to know about right. me. Right. Want to know about you. Ask Christy. I can't believe title anything the... in my life is that interesting, but oh, you go. Here we go. All right. William, ask Christy. What's your favorite genre of music? Well, William, I would probably have to say classical music is one of my favorites because, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's a little bit of chatter that goes on, and uh, I need some relaxation on the way to and from work because it, uh, it can be a little stressful. And then I really like um, rock and roll, classic rock, pop. Got kids, you know, I'll jam to the Bruno Mars every now and then, sure. Oh, I like Bruno Mars. Oh, who doesn't? Like very Uptown much. funk you up, baby. Uh, <laughs> did you say, you said funk. Funk you up. Uptown funk, funk you up. Okay. Seriously, the first time you heard that song, you did oh, a double take. Oh, sure. That's, I'm sure that's why the funk that's is. That's why it's there. Go ahead. Uh, Tyree asked Christy. Yes, Tyree. How many hot dogs can you fit in your mouth at a time? <laughs> None. None? None. You don't like hot dogs? Not particularly. Hot baseball, hot dogs, apple I'll pie. I'll have a hot dog at the baseball, but games. But I would take bites. Now, do you? I'm a biter. Now the hot dog. <laughs> do you hold the hot dog like this or like this or? <laughs> I don't know. I've never thought about how I hold my hot dog. I'm just asking. I've never thought about it. This kind isn't like Ask Christy. This. this is Chicks Ask Christy. Like this or like, like this? this. Kind of like, like that. Not like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Oh, or like this. Maybe this it's a big hot dog. Oh. No, not like that. Not like that? No, because I don't put anything on them, so there's nothing that's going to squirt out. Naked hot dog. <laughs> yes. Because she doesn't want anything squirting out. That's right. Nothing. Our next question, Jason asked Christy, why are women so mean to each other? Oh, that, I want to know Ooh, this. that's a good question. I want to know this. I'll tell you why. All right. Because there's this unwritten competitive thing between women, and it's that's why when you see women all dressed up, they're not dressing for you guys. They're dressing for each other. Trust me on this one. Because all women are sizing up their competition all the time. Really? I that's why, yeah, I really believe that. Uh, David asked Christy. Are there any girls asking questions? Let's see. Yes, one's okay. coming up. Okay, good. David asked Christy, mm -hmm. do your farts smell like peppermint or cinnamon rolls? I don't fart, David. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> I don't. Ladies do not. Linda asks, Linda asks, Linda, yes, Christy, the mm -hmm. when the guys never let you finish a sentence or interrupt you for the umpteenth time, 
How do you keep? How do you keep from getting pissed off? She does get pissed off. That's not a question. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but I have a new um, 2015 deal. I've been kind of getting vocal about it, and I probably should stop, huh? Because I have been getting a little upset. You guys really don't let me finish That's anything. That's not true at all. Shh, shh. Larry asked Christy, what Hollywood celebrity would you most like to make hot monkey love to? Ooh. Hollywood celebrity. Age appropriate? No, God no. <laughs> Heck no. Probably uh, George Clooney. Mm hmm Do I, I only get to pick one? No, you can pick as many Hollywood as you want. Hollywood celebrity or like music guy or what? Whoever popped into your mind when I said hot, styles. hot monkey love. <laughs> well. That's so creepy on so many fronts. But I have to say George Clooney because that would be the apropos answer. Or Bradley Cooper would be good. He's great in American Sniper. Yeah. I can't recommend this that movie. This is my interview, not, not yours. Oh, sorry. And finally, uh, Mike, I'm sorry, your neighbor Mike asked Christy, <laughs> have you found the cameras yet? Oh, gosh. My neighbor Mike. I don't Poor think Mike. that's a real question. I don't think that is. Are we going to keep doing this? We're going to keep asking Christy if you want to send your uh, questions into Facebook? or. I'm happy to answer your questions. Yeah, that's great. You want to ask Chick? That would be the way to go, maybe ask How Chick. How come it's always about you? Always. We'll be right back. That's a lie. Good night. Three years later, in 1929, never scored all of the points for his team. This single game 40 points scored by a single player is still a record that stands today as the NFL's oldest. Hmm. Nevers also holds a few lesser known <laughs> and unofficial oh, records, oh, really? such go. as Highest number of STDs <laughs> treated in a single season. Treated. And the longest winning streak with road horns. <laughs> this has been great moments in NFL Woo! history. Wow. Wow. Oh. Hi, this is Ross Bennett. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. All of your listeners saw them. You couldn't miss them. Of course, I'm talking about the Des Moines septuplets. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I know I can't be the only person that was secretly thinking, geez, I hope these kids don't get their mother's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's got a smile like Count Chocula. <laughs> Tom, she could chew through coaxial cable. <laughs> 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 her four hours to eat an ear of corn, I'm telling you. And believe me, Bob, I am delighted people donated baby food and diapers. I'm just hoping a dentist steps up to the plate. We're going to take fertility drugs. My God. And we're going to keep all seven because it's God's will. Bull crap. God's will was for you to have zero. You screwed it up. Nick Griffin's our yeah. guest. I'm, I'm glad that... Uh... I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I tried, you know, they're doing that internet dating, which... Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it, yeah. But but it, I just don't, I don't see a future in it because there's no story if you do get married with your kids. You know, I was checking the box score and then I double clicked on your mom's head. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. where? Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Jessica Alsman joins us. Hey. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Ace Cosby's here. I'm Chick <laughs> McGee, and here's Tom. Uh, Close circuit to Pat Godwin. Can you get your organ ready? Organ. Yeah. Oh, his organs ready. always. Can you give me like a da 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 da? <laughs> uh, probably not. Okay, good. Can, can you get that organ sound? I'll try. Does yeah. that have a thing on there? Da 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 da. da. It's, like a, it's uh, one button. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, <laughs> patches over here. <laughs> one. Yeah. I gotta put wires. Uh, patches. In. I'm, I'm <laughs> dependent like on you, son. No. <laughs> uh, you got it? You ready? No. Okay. <laughs> It's unbelievable. You go with the church organ, or is it a pipe organ? I don't know where the hell it is. Ballpark organ. That's drums. You got that, uh, <laughs> Alex Van Halen there. Are you playing the drums, Pat? Dude, Dude turn the yes. drums off. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, turn you the drums off. You know, I bought that. <laughs> yeah. I actually believe that. 
<laughs> now the Chris Craft song. That's the Chris Craft Leave your keyboard alone, Pat. The drum button. Have you found the organ yet? No. That's too much. To do I have to get Eddie in there? It's, it can't be more than one button. Oh, that's the Nielsen button. Come on. <laughs> okay, turn that off, will you? You hit the wrong thing. Oh, God. Next. Oh, that's okay. the Tom button. <laughs> uh, uh, Stop hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, are, you, are you still looking for it? Yes. You gave me two seconds. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, it really is. was unfair to ask Dick him. Divine pussy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do so. that's the German button. I can't button. find it. Holy hell! The German Wait a button. minute. That's an Orgel. Happy birthday, baby. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. How about tubes? No, that's no, not. no. That's no I want organ. Oh wait, I see organ. Okay. That's my Goldfield. There you go. There we go. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now, now lose the metronome, and we're we'll be okay. What is, how did that start? Did you do that? <laughs> Are you doing that? You're no, doing that. that you're doing that. I'm doing that. <laughs> yes. Honestly, yeah. You people are ask, that. is this show well, live? I, I don't know how to turn that off. <laughs> well, that'll be the tempo. Can you please play "Take Me Out to the Ball Game"? Not now, because the metronome's stuck. <laughs> Listen to that. Where you, is your metronome? You can't metronome? play the organ. No, the metronome is stuck now. I thought that was. He is. He's. He's. He is incapable. You can't play the organ on top of the metronome. That's, those are the drums again. Yeah, that's the fat boys button. All right, just move on. I can't do it. Move on, I can't do it. Do you oh, know how go. lucky you are that you found us? Well, you have no idea. <laughs> you, have no idea. you could behave this way. Yeah, if, you, if, this, if you were on the ships doing comedy, they'd, you'd walk the plank. <laughs> Get them out here. Be, Boom! Get them out here. Organ sounds. Last evening, the comedian couldn't find the organ. What? You we had threw it. him off the boat. Ick the mine pussy. Ick mine pussy. Now it's gone. Keep okay, now okay. it's gone. Will you tell me what's that me? Who he is. Uh, can you hum Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Oh, sure, you know ahead. what? You know what is close? Yeah, it's. Will you tell me what season it really is? My sight name, my boy. It's baseball season. Oh, That's good. Yeah. All right. Hey, it's baseball season. That's it. There That's you it. go. Perfect. No. You'll figure it out. There you go. <laughs> no, no, take no. me out to the ball game. <laughs> what? Take me out take to the ball game. That sounds like a funeral dirge. I know. Take, take me. We are gathered out here today. Oh, a couple steps. Take, take me out to the ball game. That's that it, one. That, work yeah, out. that's it. Yeah, that's, da, 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 da. that's the one. It's only the most famous song in America. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could there you go. I'm playing it perfect now. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh wait, I'm playing it. <laughs> is this oh, it's one very of the good? Oh, I, I got better. Did you ever see the uh, the baseball documentary by what's his name? Ken uh, Burns. Ken, Ken Burns. Burns, where every time somebody dies, they play some really slow version of "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." That's when Babe Ruth died of cancer. Face cancer. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is too up tempo for the Babe to die. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so, are you going to play it or not? Dun, 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 that's the intro. Now, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> what are we doing? Me out to the ball cage. Take me out that, there you to go. the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and prostitutes. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> prostitutes. <laughs> now I can't read it. He's muddied the waters. And, uh, you can read it just because he said prostitutes. You're about the kid that uh, choked to death on a Cracker Jack thing with that Toys of Pride. <laughs> Blocked the airway. Oh. That was sad. Oh, jeez. I was what? That's your joke? He was 79 years old. And, and you were should've, worried should've, about should've, me talking about prostitutes? Should have known better. <sighs> what are we doing this for? Oh, we're not going to do it now. He's, 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 what? He's, 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 you were going to read a letter, I thought, oh, right? Okay. Really? Oh, here we go. Dear Bob and Tom Show, you're going to be live at 6 o'clock in the morning from Nation Kitchen and Bar at the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks. We'll be just steps in front of the Great American Ballpark. Admission is free. Space is limited. First come, first serve. The first 200 guests in line get guaranteed a spot to see the show and maybe a special treat like we always do. Was always you ever in Cincinnati? What date is that? Uh, it's uh, Thursday, March 28th. Ah. Okay, special thanks to 92... Five, the Fox. Thank yeah. you very much. All yeah. right, live broadcast. Yeah. Opening day for the Reds, huh? Wow. That's Jim, a Fox. Jim, can I have a ba da ba da ba da no, no. Perfect. He'll figure it out. You can't just ask him to. Perfect. You can't do da 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 da. da. You can do it with your mate. You just did it, so you're fine. Move no. on. That's too fast. Do you want me to come in here and figure out the notes? It can't oh be that tough. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing We're it done. so fast? I don't know. Much closer. Want to get it over? Uh, now, uh, so yeah, give it a shot. Cat. Here's the thing. I've got a couple notes for you. This might not mean anything. You're but, fine. You, but you're too fast. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. Oh, we'll hope to see you there for the opening of the baseball season. Um, once again, George. Thursday, March 28th. I like that sound, though. It does um, take Nation Kitchen the and Bar, Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks. There you go. Now, oh, that's George. the far button. Got that out of the way. <laughs> oh, we have a special edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen coming up in about uh, 10 minutes. What have you got over there? A hockey mom. Oh, the hockey, uh, hockey. They play uh, the organ at the hockey game. Sure. Mm -hmm. Don't they play uh, what uh, the St. Louis Blues? Oh, Canada. <laughs> oh, this, when, when the, they'll play that. When the Saints go marching in is when what the they Saints, play the St. Louis Blues. You know that one? Oh, when the Saints yeah. go marching in. Go yeah. marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. I can play that. Here they go. <laughs> so you can play that, but you can't play Take Me Out of the Bowl. You no, he's not doing anything what but you, the are? same notes, and he's filling in with his voice. Where are you from? Czechoslovakia? How about a little bit of American You're music? not really Pat Godwin. Why do you say that? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> it's a bad Sorry, um, uh, replacement. Hockey mom. Hockey mom in Canada is facing charges from uh, po police, the Royal Canadian oh, Mountain. Yeah. Following a parking lot, it says here, brawl after a youth hockey game. Mm, Ontario it. Provincial Police. Everyone has a footstool. No, is that right? No. What? Furniture? Provincial? No. Provincial modern? What do they call French it? That's provincial, French. No. French, French provincial. provincial. Not even close. French provincial? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Quebec maybe, but it's Ontario. Boy, he's not Ontario. suffering fools, is he? Quebec. It's Ontario, not Quebec, right? <laughs> he yes. suffer shit. Ontario. <laughs> that is his problem. <laughs> Ontario Provincial Police say officers were called to the O'Hara Street Arena in Sturgeon Falls. Oh. Sturgeon? <gasps> Fish. Authorities said a parent from an opposing team had assaulted another parent with a solid object in her hand. Mm. A 40-year-old woman charged with assault with a weapon, assault causing bodily harm, and mischief. Was it like tongs or a bottle of ranch dressing? <laughs> you said it was a solid object. Solid object. Oh! <laughs> By destroying maybe or it damaging. Was, maybe it was a, a bottle of poutine. I don't know. Um, you can't get the bottle, you can't bottle, bottle of poutine. poutine. Sweet. Maybe really something. The sweet, french fries won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's come why on. they're sitting there pounding the back of it. <laughs> How embarrassing it would be for the mom to be sitting next to you in the penalty box. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, thanks very much. Uh, Three and four. Uh, yeah, five next time, five. Bring, next yeah. time, bring the snacks. She won't beat you like that with a puck. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bring the snacks. Number 75, Minnesota. Five guys each for fighting. For fighting. Okay, well, uh, that I can see that happening. Sure. You ever gotten to fight in the parking lot, Tom? No. <laughs> Oh, nothing like a parking lot brawl. You been in one? Seven. No. <laughs> no, you haven't. Of course not. Gosh. I see you I <laughs> yeah. almost getting in a fight at a stoplight, yelling out the window at the guy beside you. Have you ever done you that? You mean the cop this morning? <laughs> I wasn't yelling. I was being polite. God. What, did you tell him his lights weren't on? Yes. What were you doing this time? Are we going to uh, talk about that? <laughs> no. I, for one, encourage you to yell at more police officers. Yeah. I wasn't yelling. I was <laughs> more this is I was true. Tom got pulled over this morning by the police coming uh, into the radio show. He absolutely oh, did. did. You? It was a Blow the, light. the light was a reddish. Listen, listen to this. Oh, listen to go. this excuse. Oh, this is the anything before hey. five goes. Yeah. It was three in the morning. There's nobody around. Uh -huh. It's a, a very long, boring light. And yeah. the police. He didn't pull you over though, did he? He was hiding in the woods. Oh. What the did woods? he do? What did he do? And be honest. <laughs> said I saw you go through that red no, light. No, he pulled up beside you. Rolled down his window, I right? Said, I said, I said, hey, I, he goes, I saw you go through the red light. Yes, I said, I'm in a hurry to get to work. Because you can't do that. I, said, I know, sorry. Couldn't have been cooler. <laughs> and he's up, uh, he's all upset about it. I can't believe that. Yeah, know. that sounds like he was real cool about yeah. it. Yeah, he, he, nice. he must have yeah. been hiding in the woods. I mean, he's, look, he's looking for people you know, driving down that road at 90 miles an hour. I was going the speed limit and just. Or drunk if it's three in the morning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I was yeah. a. Were you totally drunk sober. this morning? Yeah, that's it. You know you me. Right? Four <laughs> shots and uh, boy, oh boy. a bottle of Metamucil. Well, that's what I like to do. But yeah. he no. didn't get out of the car. He just pulled up beside you like, yeah. just a heads up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so then I, then I had to sit through the next two lights. <laughs> Man, just just to be sure. Because he was right next to yeah, you, Yeah, the ones it? I usually roll uh -huh. through. <laughs> Did he say anything like, uh, by the way, I want to hear Prison Bitch this morning? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did he know who you were? Live. I'm not sure. Oh. I doubt it.
Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it was, it's okay. So um, where were we? Oh, I know. Coming up, it's a special episode of Sexy Time and with Allie Breen. Up, coming up, uh, uh, bird watching. Bird, bird talk. Bird watching. Burden? Bird, uh, burden in Birding. my hand. <laughs> oh, that is a great song. Great song. Desert and he's thirsty. Oh, follow me into the desert. Experts and customers have and love Simply Safe for its comprehensive protection. It was just named uh, Best Home Security System of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and recognized Best Customer Service in Home Security by Newsweek. Advanced technology is simply safe, protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch for suspicious activity 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and backed by 24 7 professional monitoring. Less than a dollar a day. No long term contract ever. You get the emergency response you need at half the cost of traditional home security. And it's easy to install the system yourself. Or you can have the professionals at Simply Safe do it for you. And Simply Safe also has a 60 day risk free trial. I've never heard tell of this, but if you don't love your system, return it for a full refund. Protect your home today, get peace of mind. And Bob and Tom Show listeners also get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe. Like simply say, check the reviews out. It's the best. When we come back, it'll be sexy time with Allie Breen. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedy, guess. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here, and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. <laughs> Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Front. What are we talking about? These nuts on the back. The new t-shirts. What do you think? What are they gonna say again? Bofa. On the front. And then on the back. These nuts! <laughs> and another t-shirt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Having just been. Wait a minute. Today. Hold it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I do very well. Uh, but I don't know what on the back yet. What do you think? Are you recording this? Wish 
suggested you would shut up because you're not helping the show. You're not helping the show. Where you're going, we don't want to go. Your moment of enjoyment will lead to unemployment because you're not helping the show. Don't you see, Chick McGee? Your career needs a plan B. You're not helping the show. Where you're going, we don't want to go. Bob and Tom are seething. It's time that you were leaving because you're not helping the show. No, you're not helping the show. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. We have just a few more minutes with uh, Kid Rock. And um, do you have a pre-show ritual of any kind? That's something that would be like a, some, a sports guy might put his socks on a certain way. Do you have Two a... blondes and a sandwich. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> or a blonde sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> or a blonde sandwich. I, I, uh, I'm not going to put sorry. words in Mr. Rock's mouth. Not uh, really, but this tour, since we got Reverend Run on with us, we always say a prayer, which mm-hmm. is kind of weird. Yeah. It's great. You know, we say a prayer, and then I go out and sing, like, Devil Without a Cause, and I want to... Like, I'm never going to sing yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, think... go forth and multiply. <laughs> 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 Attendance at church yeah. would be a lot better if they did that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is there, um, often with, with uh, uh, bands, there'll be one particular country, one like oddball country, yeah. where the, they're gigantic. Do you have any uh, particular spots where you're uh, bigger than elsewhere? Yep, Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to Liechtenstein, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's this weird country called Kentucky. <laughs> Tennessee. Uh-huh. Dave Cooperman is here with us. How are you? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, good. Good. Dave, a young guy, young I'm comedian, wide. good looking guy, uh, married man, I understand. I am. How's I that am. going? Right now, we're I guess we're working on having kids and stuff. And, cool. But we're having some trouble, you know, and she's blaming me because she's not getting pregnant and i'm like honey you realize we actually have to have sex okay <laughs> screwing with my head will not make you pregnant How many times I <laughs> so we're thinking about you know we're talking about kids even that even naming the kid is a challenge if we have one you know i want my kid to know he's both jewish and chinese the best i've come up with so far is cha-ching <laughs> <laughs> maybe lump sum <laughs> i had this was from <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I didn't get that. I didn't expect to get that far into the explanation. <laughs> you can ruin anything. Uh, hello, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Um, uh, you're talking all high, and I know you don't mean it. You really want me to go shut up. That's we have a well, guest. Yeah, we should all shut up because we have yeah, a guest. Yeah, we have a guest, a lovely guest. Wait a minute. She's in some it's exotic f- port, I floating think. Floating head. <laughs> it's, uh, vision. it's it's Allie Breen. Yeah, she's like a floating head. Hi, uh, hi, no. Allie. Where are you? Hey, I'm at the airport. I'm in one of their little vestibules, but it looks like, you know those class pictures you used to take where there's one of you and then the other one's looking off? Oh, the yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. Exactly you look like, like a, an after Catholic school yearbook or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, which, all you need really is a cross. Weird. Which airport? At LaGuardia. Oh, okay. I can smell it. Ah. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're in uh, Dallas. Uh, now, um, the way the show works is uh, uh, Allie Breen is a comedian. She's also uh, uh, our source for all things romantic in the world of love. And uh, it's uh, we call the show Sexy Time. And it's uh, people writing us to ask questions about their love life. We try to fix them. Let's just get right to it, Allie. What have you got? Dear Allie, I went out for coffee last week with a guy, and then we agreed to have a dinner date and go Dutch. We had a great time, and then when the bill came, he had a two-for-one coupon, and he used that to pay for his half. Ace. I'm all about going Dutch. (laughs) This was uncomfortable. Even if he used it to take me out, it would have been cringe, but especially this. Should I give him another chance? No. No. Um, Actually, (laughs) I can't believe you're saying that. That's in one of our news stories this morning. Yes, it is. What? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, Mm -hmm. dining turnoffs. I already mentioned one of them to Ace, which is ordering a steak well done. Another one is using a coupon. Yep. Okay, but this is a really, uh, like, this is an extreme coupon case yeah. here. This yeah, is. is the only way it would have been okay if, it's if he used it for hers, thinking she ex- was going to pay for it. I like, mean, oh, surprise, I'm not paying for it either. That would have been mildly cringe. Not, I mean, this is next level cringe. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. There's no reason to give this guy another shot. He might be a, a good dude, but. 
What happened to uh, equality? What happened to uh, ERA? <laughs> right. what happened There's a chance to, this guy uh, chose the restaurant, too, knowing exactly. damn well that he was going to get oh, a Oh, yeah. I can't afford sure. to buy two dinners at this place. <laughs> Have you seen these prices? <laughs> yeah, but, Chick, there's... Uh, there's no V in the word coupon, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'm a little confused. If there's you got two for though. one, they have one dinner, then they split the bill. It, she saved money, too. No, no, he didn't split the no, bill. No, no. He used, he used the, for his. Oh, she paid for the one meal, okay. and he got his for free. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's, no, that's. No, that's terrible. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah, that's so bad. bad. <clears throat> On a first date, especially. I mean, even if this is a few dates in, it's bad, but. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. fine. It's fine. You you no. separate the wheat from the chaff. You know what you're working with. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, Tell know, her to hit the bricks, yeah, Uggamug. You know what you're working with, and That's right. you don't want to work with you it. You can't buy a meal for yourself, hobo. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Okay. Get your crap and get out. If there wasn't any a spark, go ahead and not, never see him again. In the no, words of Jay, a spark. Jay-Z, I'm the prize, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Really? That's what he says. You can quote Jay Z. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. I, I couldn't even Jay-Z. identify him if I had a. I'm a monster. In here. Yes, you could. Uh, you I'm could. A, 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 a monster. Let's move on. Thank you very much, Ellie. What else you got? Dear Allie, my husband bought me a vibrator to help spice things up in the bedroom. I can't believe I never knew what a game changer it would be. We use it together all the time, but then I also use it all the time by myself. Now he's getting insecure, and he wants to stop using it completely, but I'd honestly rather stop using him. Oh. Is this a relationship? Oh, boy. Well, it sounds like the train has left the station. Wow. Well, let's, let, let's, yeah. let's, see that, let's see that vibrator uh, put a roof over your head, babe. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she puts the roof over his head. Uh, yep, you yeah, never know. Right. In that case, in that case, get rid of this loser. Is yeah. this the guy with the coupon? Like she's about to. That's maybe, a shame. Yeah. Maybe he bought the vibrator with a coupon. Well, this, the shame is now a lot of people are going to hear the story and they go, "This is why we don't have vibrators." You got, you just got to reassure them. Yeah. You just got to go, honey. Yeah. Or only- find someone with a giant dong. <laughs> That can vibrate, though? Excuse yeah. me to, 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 to uh, the great Billy Crystal. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Never yeah. works so yeah, hard Tell him to life. drink a lot of coffee or do something that gives him the shakes. Maybe he can measure up. Yeah. <laughs> the <go>. shakes. <laughs> you can compromise. Like, when you're together, you don't have to use it, but you can still go solo without him. I don't. No, you no, could. I that's think not, that's, that's what he's problem. upset about. I think that's unfair. Oh, is that. Go to the shower. He's cheating or not, Christy? Her. Is that cheating? No. Are you sure? Is yes. masturbation cheating? What Absolutely. the hell? I'm just saying. Not. God. What if you look? What it depends on what you're looking at. What are you thinking about? Somebody else, maybe. I no, it's still not cheating. You <laughs> have to do that. Adult entertainment is not cheating. No way. No way. Yeah, no, right. that's, a, that's a totally different topic. Yeah, I mean, the point totally is, different. reassure him. Just go, babe. The reason I this feels so good is because you are here with me and, and involved. And, and, and maybe it's like, hey, look. I, by the way, I took the liberty of upgrading. I've got the new uh, Evan Rude two hundred. Uh, it's a twin. Uh, <clears throat> a twin. Two, twin two hundred horse. <laughs> and, there it is, uh, running in the background. I don't yeah, know if you can uh, hear it. it uh, if you and you hit this switch, and it sounds kind of like a. Uh, Early wooden Chris craft there. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the Packard engine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe. yeah, you'd think he'd be happy. It's less work for him. Right. right? Yeah. That, okay. uh, yeah. well, we've solved this one. Let's move on. Once again, Allie Breen can be reached. A L L I B R E E N. And uh, tell us your love troubles and we'll fix them for you. What do you got, Allie? Dear Allie, my husband told me years ago he likes to wear my underwear after I've had them on for a few days. <laughs> it was a pretty sexy secret that we had, and I was really into it. Wait a second, wait a second. Now, he wait likes- a minute, Tom's going to get a massive case of the willies. <laughs> Read the first sentence again. Yeah. Uh, my husband told me years ago he likes to wear my underwear after I've had them on for a few days. He likes to wear so them? I think he's pulling them out of the hamper and putting them on. For sure. Yeah. For a few days. A few days. Oh. Yeah. Why is Wait she wearing so, her yeah, underwear yeah, see for that, a few exa- days? Exa- because he likes it. He, he, he likes it. Right. Oh, oh, I okay. thought she didn't know oh, that. And she just okay. found out. Okay. No. no, no, of course. I mean, it's not clear, but hopefully that's the case. And she goes um, on to say that she thinks it's sexy. She thinks it's sexy. But now he's starting to wear nylons and silk camis that I haven't worn under his clothes. And I think it's less about me. It's just about what he likes. And also that doesn't he, turn me on. Also, he has, a, boy, he has a boyfriend, doesn't he, Allie? <laughs> That's a whole different. That's a whole different sphere of things. I've I've told you I had to bail out one of our DJs, not here, but 
in my uh, previous life. You told me that you would never mention that to anybody. No, no, no. that was my the, the guy Len. Look good in a teddy. Who, uh, Allie, I'll tell you about. It. In fact, Len looked kind of like you. He had, <laughs> oh, he, he had. Well, let me finish. He had, he had, he had long blonde Don't, hair. There's no way you can uh, interpret that as an insult, Allie. No, <laughs> no, but yeah. Len. A lot of people would, but don't no, you do. Len, oh. he had your beautiful blonde hair. Oh, oh wait. Okay. And he was yeah, he was he was a DJ where I, where I was working, and he was arrested by the cops in women's clothing. And, but he but here's the thing: his wife knew all about it, and he wore her clothes all the time. He'd go out in the town. I didn't know anything about it. I get this phone call: "Can you come bail me out of jail?" It was weird, but well, it was. Can you but come Christi, bail but Christie's right. Jail. That's a different thing. Just yeah, the women's. There's thing. a whole sphere of yeah. things that who knows what he's into. Why wouldn't Len call his wife to bail him out of jail? Is that I was not clear on. Um, you might have been uh -huh. part of the fetish, Tom. Okay. You might have been a, <laughs> a little side note. <laughs> oh, no, it just it, it, it was so totally weird that I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, this this thing is. This well, we situation. haven't even heard the whole letter. So okay, let's... sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, she just said this is now starting to be unsexy. Is there any way I can turn this around? I don't think I don't so. Know. No. I think this it's is like his... putting toothpaste back in the bottle. Yeah, yep. this is his thing. He yeah. likes it. He likes it. I will say that. <laughs> Anything crushed in nylons is not going to be sexy. That's not going to be a good look that anyone's going to find hot. Or is that a thing? Oh, like testicles? Like a guy, yeah. All oh, mushed up. up in nylon? Mushed yeah. up in the... Yeah. yeah. But this, this, is, I don't, this is about what he feels. This, this, <laughs> right. this is making him feel good for whatever reason. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think he's going to yeah. change. I don't either. No, this, he needs it. Yep. Now you guys can go shopping together. I oh, that's know. a nice uh, spin on it. Yeah, <laughs> as opposed to like finding yeah. women's clothes and maybe take his mom along. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's probably the reason for no this mom. in some odd yeah. way. You think he took her clothes oh, as true. a kid? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. But maybe you should look at uh, a nice uh, accredited program of deprogramming and see if he can <laughs> fight <laughs> it. Yeah. He, he, he can. He can. He can. He can fight this demon. There are places you can send him for a week. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Very good. Let's oh. move on. Yeah. Well, you know what, though? It's 2024. You're weird if you're not doing something like this these days. So yeah. maybe they're on the right track. Oh. Uh, let's move on. Uh, once again, Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. Send her your love troubles. <laughs> Dear Allie, my girlfriend is 13 years younger than me. We've been together for a year, and her birthday uh, is coming up, and she wants me to get her a boob job. I told her I love her boobs exactly as they are, so I feel like she's probably doing this for someone else. Maybe I would do it if we're married, but I don't know if I want to buy her boobs for someone else's benefit. <laughs> what should I do? Um, she is doing it for someone else herself. Yeah. She's right. doing yeah. it for her. Yeah, that's quite a leap. Yes. You insecure yeah. madman. <laughs> but once she has her new boobs, she may find someone else because now she's hotter, right? Uh, that's what he's thinking. Yeah. She, she wants them for yeah. her. Well, that leads to this letter, Allie. Oh, um, Allie, did you ever Let's have a hear it. did you ever have a nickname when you were in high school? Um, a bunch like Alley Cat, the Green like, Monster. I grew up in oh, Boston. Oh, the, the Breen Monster. Mm. I like yeah. that named after the drag racing thing. Breen. No, the Green Monster oh, in Boston. Named, the yeah. wall. Exactly. Oh. The <laughs> I yeah. was I was thinking the you know, the Green Monster Sunday Sunday. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, right. um, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, dear Bob and Tom Shaw, I went to high school with a lady uh, whose name was uh, something, something. She was, uh, I'm going to read this verbatim. She was gloriously endowed. Mm. Glorious. It was, uh, um, uh, Lance continues writing. It was like she was hiding midgets in her sweater. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> no. Think I'm just can... reading what's written here. I'm not. Well, you know, that, that's the problem. Oh. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll change it. it, was, it was oh, like, yeah, yeah, change it now. That'd it was good. like she was hiding puppies in her sweater. Does it make okay. you feel better? Yes, and that's everyone a, else feels better. a rare reference there. Uh, he goes, I dated her fresh out of high school. She had many nicknames. Chesty LaRue. Oh, I love that. Uh, That's classic. Yeah. How about this one? Busty Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can't say the full one. It's the T word. Uh-huh. Plural. Mm -hmm. um, um, T words McGee. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had her in my phone saved under the name McGee. <laughs> ah. Lance in Saginaw, Michigan. Hmm. Good morning, Lance. Thank you very much. So uh, there you go. That's uh, in honor of the lady who wants to get the boob job. Uh, and uh, I think we can move on to our next letter. Rally, is that correct? Yes. 
Dear Allie, the adult man that I'm dating has two <laughs> guinea pigs. No kids, just a 36-year-old man with guineas. How Drop. big of a red flag is this? Big, huge, get rid of him. No, yeah. it's not. He jams him in his ass. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> What's wrong with There's having no doubt. guinea pigs? They, they smell a lot. Lot. Or no, they know. don't smell. Give him a uh, hundred bucks and you'll go buy a nice girl. <laughs> oh. From America. Yeah. Tell her, um, just, ma'am, just sniff them. You'll know. Oh. <laughs> just ask him, point blank, do you put yeah. these in your butt? Right, right. No, I, I, oh. Just ask his butt. How did that okay. rumor get around so widely? Yeah, I've always wondered, who did, who did Richard Gere piss oh. off? How'd that the happen? hamster he jammed up his yeah, ass? Exactly. And that and Rod Stewart and the, and the stomach bump. Huh? I have no doubt that happened. Well, who did? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually real. Oh, uh, God. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that would be a huge turnoff for me. Oof. Just uh, seeing the backstory. Yeah, it's a weird is. pet for a man. No, is it? He just thinks yes. they're cute. Yeah, maybe <sighs> it's like uh, his long last love who just died's pet. So she's trying to keep. There him. could no. be an answer here. Maybe the next day he'll introduce you to his python. Oh. <laughs> it's um, no, it's <laughs> it's the same as a full grown woman have a chinchilla or something. Is it? Oh, that's Stop. oh, that's it's just, what a weird. Yeah. I don't care what you guys what think. If you I love mean, animals, I, you love animals. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what they are. You know, I knew a guy that uh, oh, the talking went, went, oh, bed. went out with a woman who had like 40 rabbits in her basement. <laughs> well, that's oh. too many. Well, that's oh. too many. That's ridiculous. That's too many of anything. Yeah, it smelled yeah. like an elephant dung convention, apparently. Oh, uh, oh yeah. rabbit dung. <laughs> were they uh, were the 40 rabbits in the in the basement? Were they were they having sex and having baby rabbits? They I guess have they to. Right? Oh, they do. Probably. That. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's weird, but hey, you know, whatever. Rabbits are a very popular pet. You'd be surprised. No thanks. People Don't get them, rabbits. especially with Easter coming. <laughs> Parents, you'll have I've never to, met you, a you'll do all the work. Rabbit. I have, about, really? I have 30 rabbits in my basement, do you? but I, I'm running a keychain factory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with all these. No, the rest Three of the bodies. Rabbits? All you're getting rid of are the feet. <laughs> how much are you? I'm trying uh, to teach them how to slither. How much are you charging for your uh, rabbits' feet uh, keychains? A dollar a piece. It's worth and, it. Uh, and what's your uh, what's your landed price? Uh, how, how much? What, what's your price? Twenty for? cents. Twenty cents. Yeah. So it's about an eighty percent margin. <laughs> have you thought about taking everything to China? Horrible. I have. Yeah, okay. but they eat them there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can we move on? Uh, at least we have time for one more letter, Allie. Dear Allie, I just found out the guy I'm dating has a second phone. I found out because I snooped in his briefcase while he was uh, in the shower, so I really can't tell him. Uh, How do I investigate this further, and what possible reason could there be other than something that's not in it? Could it, uh, could, uh, could it, could it be, be a work phone? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. You work have phone. you 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 do not deserve an answer. You snoop, <laughs> you sneak, you rat. You violated a trust. Yes. Um, well, no. Do him a favor and break up with yes. him. Yes. I mean the guy. Oh. He could have a work phone. You are. But right. I would, yeah, he but could. I, I, however, yeah, but, uh, let me say this: You're a filthy rat. If he did, he would have pointed that out. Not and, and it would have yeah. gone off. Well, yeah, sure. He would go, hey, by the way, i got to carry this around because it's paid for by my work and I can't use my work phone for personal You're call. a bad person. Did you have to break the lock on the briefcase? If you did, then it's probably not a work phone. Like, Because why would you lock that? But if it was a shady phone, he would keep it with him at all times, even in the bathroom. He wouldn't even let you have access to it. Stop answering this lady. You no. might forget, though. Sometimes you forget. Ma'am, I hope you're I hope you're hit by a bicycle today. And I say bicycle because it'll hurt, but it won't do a lot of damage. It'll just cause you a little bit of pain. I'm going to say by a bus, it knocks you up on top of a, a building, and then you fall off that building back into the street and get hit by a car. Ooh. That's what I hope. Wow. You nosy, nosy weirdo. Yes. Okay. Have some self-confidence. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. We've done a lot of <laughs> thank damage you today. very much. A lot of damage oh, yeah. done today. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, Allie, uh, uh, now where are you on your way to this time? I'm going to Dallas. I'm doing my friend. Da Do you guys know Dave Landau? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Funny comic. I'm I love doing Dave. his podcast. Yeah, they actually fly people out to do the show, I think, because it's in an odd place. So I'm going out to do it called Normal World. Please tell him we said hello. He's, he's one of our favorites. I definitely will. He's very, yeah, he's fantastic. Very it's funny. Fun. Yes. Tell him I'm not, just, yeah. I'm not speaking to him, Allie. <laughs> and his buddy who was with him last time. Was real funny to you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. Is that Matt McClowry? Yes. yes. Oh my that, That's great. I've worked with Matt a lot. Yeah. That was one of the fantastic. funniest moments on this show this year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Really? Who, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. kidding. Yeah, we had a great time. Oh. With and I can't describe it. I'll have to see if we can get it on tape somewhere. That was great. Yeah, uh, Dave Landau's yeah, terrific. Yeah, you can post it. I would love I to I can't wait that. to listen to that, Allie. That, you, all, all three, that'll be terrific, you guys talking. You know, I, it Dave, should be fun. Dave's I, one of those I, guys, I, I, I thought he was a normal human being. And then about, I don't know, 15 <laughs> years ago, he walked in here with 
this incredibly weird haircut, and I thought, uh, well, therefore, like he's abnormal. <laughs> yeah. 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 I thought he was very normal. Uh-huh. Then he came in with a weird haircut. Right I mean, he had like a mohawk. It was uh, yeah, dyed, keep talking to dyed us. blue and yeah, red. Boy. Hey, this guy's nuts. <laughs> keep talking. Nuts. <laughs> this was that great. Was he's super funny. Well, thanks, Allie. You look great, thanks, as always. See, Allie. Thanks. Bye, Allie. Remind me of my buddy, Len. Uh, oh, you remind me of my buddy, Len. <laughs> <laughs> What's Len, wrong with you? No, with Len her. just had that same what hair she has. What is wrong with you? And Len, Len, you Len. can't tell a lady they look remind you of <laughs> no, a just guy. No, her, just her hair. It doesn't matter. It you don't doesn't understand. Matter. You don't do and Len and Len dressed as up as a woman. That was his thing. It, you, but yes, it it worse. But even worse. Yeah. You no, know, you look like a man in drag. You know yeah, that? That's exactly but what he, he did, said to her. He did not have a mohawk though. No, no. So he was normal. Okay. But he had bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh, oh boy. All right. Oh. She'll hear about this. <laughs> Keep oh. digging. Uh huh. Uh, well. Digging them, digging them holes. <laughs> All righty. Thank you very much. Uh, what's coming up in uh, sports? Uh, what do we got? Uh, oh, uh, uh, aviary. Uh, we're going to become bird experts. Okay, come back. That sounds mm. cool. Right now, I want to say, uh, I want to tell you. I should say, thank you very much. The Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help. We spent a lot of our time uh, wishing we had more time. Well, maybe make some time to uh, do something for yourself. I'm talking about therapy, and uh, Better Help has come up with a much more efficient way to uh, find out what's going on and find out what makes you happy. BetterHelp is a way to access therapy from a licensed therapist online. The way it works is you take a little quiz, you take this uh, questionnaire and fill it out, and uh, you'll get matched up with a licensed therapist, one of 25,000 therapists working with the BetterHelp folks. And uh, by the way, you can switch therapists at any time. There's no additional fee. And then the interesting thing about this is the therapy itself is done online, so it's a lot more convenient and uh, it can be done in a number of ways. You can do it uh, like you were just uh, sitting in front of a therapist with a little TV in front of you, uh, your your phone, your your laptop, whatever. Or you can do it like a phone call where you're not seeing anything. Or you can uh, text back and forth. It's about what works for you. And uh, the way to find out about it is to go to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. The slash BT Show part will knock 10% off your first month. And it's a way to learn what uh, what could make you happier. So check out Help with BetterHelp. It's all about therapy and convenience and flexibility. Visit BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. And this portion of the Bob and Tom Show sponsored by BetterHelp. Coming up, gigantic birds in the news. Also, uh, we have a headline that has these words in it, scorpion and testicles. Awesome. I'll let you do that. I'll let you do the addition. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. Smoke 
and drink and play golf every day. I'd have a lady for a caddy. She could hold my balls while I play. I want to be Bob. We want to be Bob. His name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Oh. We have actually played golf with Alice. I played golf with. I've Alice. heard he's a very good golfer. Very good yeah. golfer. And he always plays eighteen, and he likes it. Uh, <laughs> uh, boy, we walked right? right into that, didn't yeah. we? That's yeah, not bad yeah, at all. He couldn't play with you because it was a for ladies only golf course. <laughs> it had only women tees. There you go, Tom. That, that, uh, it's still sure. awkward and uh, forced. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Rodney Carrington, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Speaking of Kennedy. That's a good shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a good shout out. Yes, uh, thank you. John Kennedy Jr. Maybe. Why do you think they call a skippy little suit a teddy anyway? <laughs> uh, thank you. You want to go watch the uh, films of uh, Bobby's funeral at my place? Well, what do you know? It's uh, 4 a.m. and we're drunk. Well, let's make whoopee. <laughs> Wear my Oxford cloth. <laughs> I was on a plane with one of the Kennedys one time. Really? Well, you lucky work? to be. Yeah, yeah, it was Ted Kennedy. He was on the plane. Yeah, he was in first class. You know, I was in the back. You know, sure. With the degenerates. But uh, but what a great name to be born, Pitt Kennedy or, or Rockefeller or something like that. My luck if I was born in money, my last name would be Massengale. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, the big douche baron. <laughs> the douche baron. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you, know, you get waiters making fun. You want oil and vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and bring it. <laughs> My dad, the big douche parent. <laughs> they don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Comedian What's Dan wrong? Cummins is here with us. Now, did your kids all go through the, the question, the why? Why? Oh, why? yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he never, like, for, like, a year... <laughs> It's been a nonstop barrage of questions, and it's 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 a question and it's the opposite. Why are we going to the park? Well, because it'd be fun to go to the park. No, 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 no. no. You know why? You know your answer. What? Because I said I, so. You know, because. I found myself saying that. I'm like, I'm not going to say that. And now oh, I'm like, because yeah. Daddy said so. That's why we're going there. And they're the worst know-it-alls because their knowledge base is almost zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he doesn't know anything. And he questions everything. Like I'll be reading him a story. Everything's a challenge. Just like, and then the jaguar walked through the forest. That's a tiger. <sighs> Uh, no, no, it says, says Jaguar. Uh -huh. Nope, it's a tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah they like, you're wrong. And I'm like, okay, let's play a little game. Uh, <laughs> raise your hand if you have a degree. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I graduated on the dean's list. You can't wipe your own butt. <laughs> That's a Jaguar. This is a winner. <laughs> Next story. Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> 
I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy. heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> Mr. Nealon from SNL. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> you and your oh, I'm giant sorry. feet. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. What day is it? When it is Friday. Wednesday, and we're still doing sports. Hope day, baby. Hope day. We'll get to some more sports. This is unbelievable. I love it. I, um, my goal was to not do a story today. Who's going to hump today? Anybody going to hump? Maybe. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It might be on the books. Midweek. That used to be my favorite commercial. Mid-week. Hump day. Where the guy would go. Yeah. There the woman would go, I know. Funny it's hump day. Oh, the, that was so fun. Oh. oh Pat, so will you maybe hump today? I'm in the mood for one. All right. So you might? Actually? I might. All right. Uh, right now, I'm... Why don't you write a song? I'm in the mood for hump day. Hump day. <laughs> Squeeze this in here. Simply because your vagina's I'm in the mood. Coming up on uh, Thursday, March 28th, we're going to be live starting at 6 in the morning. From Nation Kitchen and Bar at the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks, just steps from the front gate of the Great American Ballpark for opening day. Admission is free. Uh, we'll have uh, those first 200 guests in line. I'll have a special treat for them. Special thanks to 92.5 The Fox. All right. Look All forward right. to seeing you there. Also, we've got our other show coming up. We're going to be live in Charleston, West Virginia, Friday, April 5th. And uh, that's uh, courtesy of Rock 105 dun, WKLC. Dun, dun, dun. In Charleston, West Virginia. This is starting a, a trend every Friday. We're on the road. So. Uh, with a special, by the way, show that night, a comedy show with uh, Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oskey, Josh Arnold, Kristen and I will be your hosts. And uh, tickets for that show, I believe, go on sale tomorrow. But the, All morning, right. the morning shows or the radio shows are free to hey, attend. Hey, Josh, I bet I'm going to be able to get you. I bet I can have you gamble at the casino. Uh, I bet you can. Yeah. I bet I can. Oh. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Okay, there we go. You just bet. Just won. <laughs> oh, son of a... <laughs> now? Elsewhere in sports? Stupid world record. Was it Bob Zaney who said, uh, if you bet... <laughs> A woman that she can't make you have an orgasm? Is that gambling or prostitution? <laughs> Was that Bob Zaney? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like that would That's be... That's how you get out of uh, getting caught with a hooker, isn't it? Oh, you just yeah. go, no, officer, I was. I uh, bet her $100. She gambling. couldn't get me off. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Good you. luck with that. Very helpful. <laughs> that Gambling's legal here. What, what was your question? Is that sports? No, no, we have a stupid world record. Yeah. Oh, you oh, know oh, damn well it's oh, not sorry, sports. Oh, sorry, I know. Is this the one about pheasants? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is it? The world's largest pheasant is for sale. What? For sale? <laughs> well, hang on. There's a lot of... Uh, is it alive? Qualifiers here. All right. No questions. <laughs> it's a giant statue of a pheasant. Oh. All right. For no. sale. Mm. The landmark. It says here, we've all heard about the giant pheasant. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's a big no. tourist attraction. Would you care to guess where? what state it's in? Uh, um, I'm going to say Vermont. New York. Iowa. Oh, Tom, Tom, can't, oh, yeah, Tom you know, can't guess. Ace, any guesses? J- Josh, did you guess? I guessed uh, Vermont. Oh, he, I'm going to ask Ace. He's got to go out to the car to Texas find state. <laughs> Texas. Oh, okay. Uh, Pat? I know already. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. He probably wrote a song about yeah, it. That's right. a song about it. <laughs> got a song going. It's South Dakota. Ah. Oh, oh, Huron, sure. Huron, South Dakota, and the world's largest pheasant statue. From here on out, the <laughs> largest pheasant. <clears throat> <laughs> you're giving him, you're giving him yes, that I did. for a Huron out? Yes, I did. That's an yes. eerie joke. <laughs> uh, hey! The world's largest uh, statue of a pheasant is for sale at one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Well, that's Jeez. but you get the building too. Well, the building? That's not fair. You, you could get, own this well known. Oh, wow. Holy I want it. I want it. That's it's so a it's a gigantic that. pheasant. That is okay, I want to buy that and live there. <laughs> I'm gone, kids. What's in the building? Is there it's a, a warehouse. You could put. I guess you could put whatever you want in there. Okay. What's that? Is that a tube down there at the bottom? That's kind of cool. I think it's a tire, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no. You could. Uh, it looks like something you tube on a lake or something. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. That. It's yeah, got a nice deck. And then see the big sign, the world's largest pheasant. Sure. Isn't that nice? And oh, isn't that nice? That during, the, lovely. during the heat of the day, you could sit under the pheasant's ace right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's way up there in the roof, and, yeah. it's, and it looks like it's it's a 
two stories in the front, one in the back. Looks like there's a nice motel behind yeah. it. <laughs> well, they got to have the motel we're because just, of all the tourists. Right. That they, looks like sense? that pheasant is five stories tall. No, the tourists aren't. That's that's an hourly rate motel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the world's biggest pheasant. I want you to take me while I'm looking at the pheasant. <laughs> Can you could you, 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 hey, you could uh, you could uh, take uh, some paint and make it the world's biggest cock. You could uh, turn it into a rooster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. they don't look anything alike. Disgusting alive. man. Will you yeah. grow up, please? I bet that would probably get a lot more people Always. to come see it. Pat, Always dirty. Save us, please. Uh, oh, I don't know if this, I don't know if this is going to save you. Especially in a place like uh, Huron. Uh, South Dakota, South Dakota lovely South Dakota, place. Or probably a, it says here it's been inspired hunters from all over the world to visit South Dakota. There you go. The realtor contracted to help with the sale says the sky's the limit for the commercial possibilities with yeah. this oh really i could put an arby's there <laughs> oh, a big one <laughs> <laughs> with pheasant why not um, a kfc and paint it uh, as a like chicken a chick i just said that no not a rooster a uh, chicken okay okay now, pat you have a tribute i'm a local real estate agent with a statue on my hands oh my <laughs> it's the world's largest <laughs> pheasant on a building, and we're asking 180 grand. Another pheasant selling Sunday. That is silly. Yeah, baby. So bad. Uh, you really. Uh, 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 hang on. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's do it again. Uh, uh, Another pheasant, pheasant selling Sunday. Sunday. And no one's buying anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. Right. Another nice, uh, nice tribute to the monkey. Excellent. Yeah. I certainly appreciate that, Pat. Thank you very much. Is that sports? Yes, oh, sir. God. Oh, thank that's God. It. Finally. All done, all through. Hey, Rocky, this is what you farted for. What's coming up, Christy Lee? Coming up, we have tumbleweeds, we have beer ads in Star Wars, and we have a guy stung in the testicles by a scorpion. Oh, and, and, <laughs> This, uh, this Star Wars story is so funny, I beg you to stay. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just... Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. Did you see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing. Start over. Word. Hey, Charleston. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right. And our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest, Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff.
Holston's Ice Cream Parlor in Bloomfield, New Jersey, was auctioned Monday night. The owner, Ron Stark, says he decided to sell the booth to pay for renovations. Jamie Foxx returns to hosting the game show Beat Shazam after suffering from a mystery illness last year. Fox and his daughter, Corinne Fox, will co-host the show in which contestants try to name hit songs faster than the song ID app Shazam. Bill recall Jamie Foxx was hospitalized last April with what his daughter called a medical complication. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. According to a new study, watching porn can cause short-term memory loss not to mention short-term memory loss. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good news, bad news. Here's the bad news. An airline passenger was stuck in a laboratory for over two hours. The good news, he finally was able to escape when the door just fell off for no reason. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 7. and go do the dishes. This is Reno Collier, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Joining us in the studio, comedian Frank Caliendo. Some dude is on Bob and Tom doing your freaking voice, Jim. Maybe you're not listening right now. <laughs> Make it stop, Vance Mac. I'm hearing echoes again, Vance Mac. Make it stop, Jim. Well, it's maybe silly. that Grand Canyon that you have between your ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's not sus. Not unlike Alf, you just cracked yourself up. Look out because you're going to be eating a cat in about five minutes. We're and making the... more echoes of freaking Luke Gehrig, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what a great That's speech great. that was. <laughs> Luke Gehrig. No one has ever topped that speech. The luckiest freaking man in the face of the world. <laughs> he truly was. He did not suck. No, he did not he suck. Did not and suck. that day was the luckiest day for him. <laughs> My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More uh, ah, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Wish! <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Got a letter. Christy Lee at the news desk, Pat Godwin Hello. in the performance room. Hey. Jeff Oskay's here. Hey, buddy. In person, there's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Ace Cosby right here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee. And here's Tom Griswold. Very jealous. Uh, Jeff you... Oskay has uh, an incredible beard. He's got an incredible head of hair. Yeah, you do have great hair, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, you do. You like it? You proud of it? Sure. It's good. You yeah. could do a kind of an Elvis pompadour if, if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I very, don't, I very don't have blessed. that option. You have more hair from your tattoo down than I have on my head. I'm That's sorry. a great tattoo. Is Thank that you. new? Yeah, somewhat. It's very oh, nice. It's like very a couple nice. months old. Now, uh, I got, we've been talking about nicknames. 
Now, your last name is Oske. Right. And which you've uh, speculated was probably short for... For Oskarowski. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> I'll have that uh, with uh, the special sauce. <laughs> and that's the, not a joke, right? No. It's, yeah. What really no. is Oskarowski? Yeah. Oskarowski. Yeah, okay. Oske is much easier. Yeah. And uh, uh, now, um, did you have a nickname when you were in high school? Uh... <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah. It, it's uh, got to be J.O., right? Uh, J.O. Probably it was Fro for most of my life. Oh, Fro? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because of the hair. Yeah. It was. You had the big uh, helicopter head? I, it was uh, It was a bit. Uh, curly? Curly, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, young Jeff didn't know how to, t how to tame gotcha. such hair. And so. Uh, did the ladies dig the Fro? No. Oh. No, they did not. <laughs> huh. uh, no one did. How about the facial hair? Because you, you you have the finest I, beard I've ever seen. I uh, I did not have the facial hair in high school. No, mm -hmm. so I shaved. Okay. What now you, you and I went to school at a less woke time. I would imagine us gay came up. Uh, oh, uh, not just uh, then. Uh, whenever people comment on our YouTube videos, it comes up a lot too. Uh, it still still holds strong. Still popular. Oh, yes, it's very mm, popular. Oh, uh, well, here's a letter. Um, uh, not all nicknames in high school were degrading. Writes Wes. Of course not. After our first week of middle school gym class and group showering. Oh boy. My class. My classmate named Josh. Soon became known as. Meatloaf. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Due to his large uncircumcised oh. member. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and uncircumcised yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, we had one of those on the, on the football team. The hooded yeah. dong? Yeah. He was real. It, was, it wasn't thick. It was just long. The old sausage casing, <laughs> though? But it wasn't, oh. I mean, meatloaf. No, it wasn't meatloaf. Mm. No. I mean, for, for these guys to come up with that, it must have been a, quite a prominent... Uh, but I'm guessing he wasn't much of a grower, if you will. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Not that I've thought about it or anything. <laughs> oh, right. damn it. 50 what? years ago. Please don't use my real name. Why doesn't he put that on top and circle? Who said that? Um, this guy This guy who just wrote us a uh, text. Oh. Uh, that was his name, right? Didn't I say that? I don't text. know what his name was because I can't remember what text. he said. What said. Yes, thank uh, you. Now, um, uh, don't write us if you don't want your name on the radio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just no. just yeah. have, have the Know that ha he's not going to listen. Have or the read first it. sentence. No, I didn't see that. Have that it doesn't right matter. It's not good. You're not, still not going to see it. It could be. Uh, this is West. Did I mention that he's from. Uh, uh, his uh, name is uh, West. It doesn't matter. Uh, 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 Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> That's well, at true. least you didn't say his last name. I didn't. And you better rip that up, otherwise, I'm going to grab it and I will read that man's name on the radio 10 times. <laughs> West Ar Montgomery, it's, right? It's Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> is it Montgomery? His last name's West, Mon West Montgomery, right? Isn't he a guitar player? Great, one of the greatest yeah. of all time. Yeah. We no. had a uh, we had a kid in fifth grade named Lewis who was 6'2", so he was 6'2", Lou. Ah. But then the following year, he grew two inches, so then it was 6'2", plus 2, Lou. <laughs> and then by high school, it was 6'2", plus 2, plus 2, Lou. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Just, so he I, I, was on the basketball team. Uh, he was like me. Very tall, no coordination. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. I have an un unfortunate tag for that. Yeah? And this is completely true. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, his his nickname was Lou because he had an a ungainly a Polish last name, much like you. <laughs> and um, uh, <clears throat> he was... Uh, have you ever talked to anyone... <laughs> And not insulted them at some point. You got to go to a compliment. During, yes. I mean, how do you have a relationship with anyone? I, I almost respect it. It's, I mean, it's a he, gift. He just doesn't anyway, care my friend, what he says. Constantly my, piss people my, off. Yes. My friend Lou. Yeah. Um, I wonder what he would say. Well, uh, Griswold, I Lou, hate that Lou, uh, yeah. oh, probably. He um, was, uh, was a gay gent. Yeah, and, it gets uh, better. Oh, he, yeah. he, he, he was called, not by me, no, by, no, no. he was called Toodaloo. No. <laughs> I, I, you know what? You know, you I believe that whole story except for the fact that you, not by you. <laughs> no. The way you just did it there yeah. Yeah, with such much, uh, joy. It and sounds like you got a lot of your, prize. Yeah. It sounds like you oh, came a, up with that. A great guy. Saying Toodaloo. No, mm -hmm. I, I, no, that was the... Uh,
the a hole. The men's clinic. Mm. Um, okay, now um, uh, we have time now to check in with Jeff because you have a mission today. Uh, yeah, uh, last week we did a little uh, chat GPT uh, quiz and it went so well. Uh, I thought we would try that again. Oh, you thought so? Do we have any, uh, do we have any rules? <laughs> uh, I I have them down to three letters this time since Christy wasn't too happy with uh, well, some of. Well, because you didn't follow the rules. Uh, I I yeah. well, well, was there are no rules. Wasn't it a chat, chat CBGBs? Yeah, that, yeah, that's what pissed me off. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> can, you give us an, can you give us an example from yeah, last week? Uh, well, uh, I have some examples <laughs> uh, for this week. Uh, if you need help learning about the New Deal, you would new use chat FDR. FDR. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you needed help deciding what sunscreen to wear at the beach. Oh. oh. SBF. Yes. Chat. Chat. SBF. SBF. Okay. okay, so uh, I'm going to go around the room. She's still not doing it right, though, and she's going to get mad at you for nothing again. She'll be fine. Stop. This first one is strictly for Stop. Christy. Oh. Uh, if you're Catholic, but you send your kids to public school, on Sundays, you may want them to check out chat. Um, RCI? CCD. Oh, well, they changed it. Yeah, what CCD is the old RCI? school. It's religious something educate. Maybe yeah, it's I REI. I don't remember what they changed it to. All right, here's here's a submission from a uh, listener. CCD is right. Uh, when you need help uh, with a hilariously quick song about a news story, you would use Chat PAT. Uh, very close. Uh, no, Pat. GPT. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I'm changing right. the rules. I like that. There you go, buddy. All right. Oh, here you go, Pat. Uh, if you want to learn how not to blow holes out in your underwear, <laughs> use the help of chat. ACE. Uh, yeah. Close, but uh, BVD. BVD. <laughs> uh, oh, Chick, you may, uh, yeah. you may not enjoy this one. Yeah. When you want to know more about an early 90s R&B doo-wop group, Use oh. chat. Um, I oh like yeah. BBD TLC. BBD. -E BBD. <laughs> you nailed it, Josh. Oh, Bell Biv DeVoe. That's now right. You know. Oh, okay. now you know. I didn't know they. Wow. I didn't know they went by BBD. Uh, oh. yeah, I'm with Bell the A's. Bell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard them uh, described as doo wop. <laughs> I I couldn't think. What? How would you describe? That girl is pop, pop, pop maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. R&B. Uh, how about this one? Uh, White rap. This one is for uh, Tom. If you're looking to get stuff done, use chat. Uh, AMY? DIY? Uh, no, let's try this one. Uh, same thing. If you want to learn what Bachman Turner Overdrive is all about, uh. use chat. Chat BTO. Yeah. No. TCB. Oh, yeah. oh, care care of oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Very good. Very good. Oh, Josh, this one's for you. If you want to know where to get frozen yogurt near you, <laughs> use chat. TCBY? That's right. That one had four. See? Oh, I'm a frozen oh, custard, man. That's not good. See? <laughs> rules. Oh, I miss the TCBY store. Uh, here's one for Ace. Uh, Ace, if you want to learn how to chat up a heavy honey, <laughs> use chat. <laughs> wow. A heavy B. honey. I got. I know this. Yeah, you know. Yeah. B. 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 Um, B. B. Uh, B. W. W. Uh, Big, beautiful uh, woman. That's w. right. Oh, what's uh, the one you're always using that's um, <laughs> the pornographic one? That's the BBC? Chat BBC. Yeah, like, Big like, Black. Uh, we had that last week. Like, yeah. the, like yeah, the we... network. It's BBC? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Big Black Rooster. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh, that's not for the ladies, then. Stand. No, no. It means, you know, your no, Lexington Steel. I, I see. Steals, I see. Is, there one, is there one for the ladies of a uh, color? Is there a... Uh, there is big BBP. Uh, BBBW, I think, is. <laughs> is Al oh, us, I see what you're saying. Didn't Al tell us that it was a, like a red bone or something, right? He did tell us something. Yes. That's a band, red bone. Well, sure, no. but it's also, yeah. Yes, from the 30s. I know, but not. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Christy, yes, when sir. Ace wants to keep up on his celebrity gossip, like the middle aged housewife of Hamilton County that he is, he uses <laughs> chat. Chat TMZ? That's right. Yeah. Every day, baby. I'm coming at you, Ace. Watch every, out, buddy. Every day. Oh, wow. uh, another one for Christy. When an ugly dude is hitting on the hottest girl at the party, he obviously has some chat. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I don't know that. Is it BDE? That's right, Josh. B -D -E. I thought it was GUE. BDE. What's GUE? Yes. Go ugly okay, early. I got it. Go ugly early? Huh? What's that? Phrase from high school, like, 
back when I was in college and high school. Go so instead early. of waiting until closing Two time? Yes. at night oh, at the yeah. bar, G-O-E. <laughs> <laughs> you go ugly early. Go ugly early. Uh, so, that's so my not favorite not like one gooey? so far. Well, that's that a slogan is... of a bar up in West Lafayette. Wow. Is it really? Yeah. Aries. Okay, we have time for two more, Jeff. Uh-oh. Uh, if you need help, uh, Tom, if you need help avoiding the most common STI on the planet, read up about it on chat. Uh, STI? No, sorry. Chat, chat, uh, chat CDC? STD? Close. Nope. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I H PV? Yes. Oh, oh, chat HPV. oh I thought it was uh, chat PUS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that is bad. That would yeah, be. You don't want to look at the that's pictures and yeah. images yeah. on that. That's the famous ventriloquist pop <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be PUS. Pluto. <laughs> One more. Okay, so if uh, so, what if I had two call girls for my fiftieth birthday and then blow all night while dressed as Baby New Year? Those ladies can't say a thing about it, thanks to my new AI chat. Uh, NDA. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot going oh, on. Right. Very good. Yeah. Christy, congratulations. Non-disclosure. Uh, I need to point this out. Jeffrey will be on stage uh, along with uh, the rest of us for the most part coming up. Um, in uh, what, what's the date on that one? April, April 5th. 5th. Okay, April Charleston, 5th. Charleston, West Virginia. Yeah, got to make that clear. Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, the tickets for that show go on sale tomorrow. Is that, I'm getting that right? And um, that show, we're going to do a live morning show that's free if you want to stop on by. We'll be uh, doing it from that same location that day. Uh, uh, that Friday morning, which is the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. So it'll be Willie G, Patty G, Jeff Oske, Josh E. I'll be there. Christy will be there. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, we'll, for the morning show, we're going to have Duke Tomato and the Brass to Mouth Horns. And it's all courtesy of Rock and 105. And Chick will be there for the morning show. It's all courtesy of Rock 105, WKLC. WKLC in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay, uh, now, this portion of the Bob and Tom show. Features a uh, stoic reading from Chick McGee. About, uh, the FBI safety. property crime data is in, people. It is. You know what they say, most home break-ins happen in broad daylight. <laughs> Son of a gun. That's where Simply Safe comes in. The design-it-yourself, do-it-yourself home security system with comprehensive protection. And Simply Safe just named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and recognized best customer service and home security by Newsweek. Advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch for suspicious activity inside and out 24-7 and professional monitoring from Simply Safe less than a dollar a day and there's no long-term contract ever. You'll get the emergency response you need at half the cost of old-timey traditional home security. It's easy to install a system yourself or you can have the professionals at Simply Safe do it for you. Simply Safe also has 60 day risk free trial. If you don't love your system, return it for a full refund. Here comes the really special offer part. Bob and Tom Show listeners get a special 20% off any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe. Like simply say. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Uh, coming up, Christy Lee's going to get some news out. Nah, right. maybe. Okay, good. Look forward to it. Look forward to it. And I have a tactical question about bowling when we come back. All right. Don't forget to remind me. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Morning laughter. <laughs> Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! I've got something that'll cheer you up. 
We often uh, record announcements for various what? stations along the Bob and Tom oh, radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day... I thought, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and... Uh, uh, you guys, as usual, were... <laughs> I honestly forgot about I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and um, we had to... This is this, These are what you would call an, uh, an outtake version of it, where did, we did, will not be... Uh, we're not going to put them on our albums? The 50 um, studio outtake album? Oh, see, people would want to hear that. <laughs> it's like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like yeah. they'd want to hear Josh yesterday saying yeah. something... <laughs> Bad. S- he, slip of the. He just yeah. said the S word. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize oh, that as the so called S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh-huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought I was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, Josh how, and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various bomb social media. Great wigs, by the way. And yes. off to yeah, you. I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is. Um, I would have. Well, this is what it sounds like when we're. We've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so this has been beeped. This is the beep one, I'm assuming, over here, Dean. Okay. Oh, my God. No, why would he give you a non beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's. <laughs> well, Dean's close to retirement. He might <laughs> like to see the Dean. But see, and maybe it's me, but it's like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh, yeah. Do you guys remember the time that happened? One yes, time. That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one time, God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your head <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Head off. Okay. So here we go. This is, uh, here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. <laughs> off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? <laughs> He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. Hi. You thinking about f- for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, <laughs> lubes, lotions, potions? Okay, yeah. here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? Adult toys. Ooh. See, you're supposed to answer. Oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved uh, one. But, oh, uh, did you guys know that it has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm-hmm. And Josh. Yes. For you. <laughs> yes. A d- straw. <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But right. <laughs> and, of course, Josh, they have... Novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's <laughs> it's the only part. The only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the whole. Oh. F- <laughs> Sorry. The Low Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? <laughs> online at guilt. <laughs> it doesn't stop it that sound at all like that. God, Tom. You know, he at the end, he goes, at guilty pleasure, you can barely get the seas out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow, we had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happened. Guilty store. Store. Go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have sex a, chairs or swings. Swing? Do yeah. they sell, yeah. those, do oh, they sell okay. those male member straws? Haven't buddy? you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. What is that? Oh, she hangs in a basket, and yeah. maybe and she, and then you uh, put her and on, you spin and you her spin her, her yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. No, what is that? She vomits all over you? From, <laughs> sounds awful. What a weird, kinky guy you are. <laughs> Sexy Tom is. Okay. Yeah. Hey, this is Mark Sweeney. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy has like pleurisy or something. Can you keep her away from us? Okay, She's over so there coughing and jumping. Okay. No, I just had She's a tickle sick. in my nose She's and I had to sneeze. Getting all sick. Yeah, she well, I'm not sick. Coming. 
That's some sort of verdant uh, disease. <laughs> Another <laughs> pheasant selling Sunday. <laughs> hey, I want to hear that tomorrow morning to start oh, the show. Please. Oh, we had to. Uh, that was reason. very cute. The pheasant is the state bird of uh, South Dakota. And it's oh, well, that makes that sense. pheasant uh, that we heard about in Huron, South Dakota. It's the number one uh, tourist attraction other than Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. All Again, right. is there a difference between a pheasant and a partridge? Yeah. <laughs> Virtually, yes. uh, no. The naked eye cannot tell. <laughs> is it what is a partridge? Is it like a? a it bird? lives in a, a pear tree. tree. That's all I know. No partridges. They look a little pheasant-y. hutches. <laughs> Partridge lives in a hut. It's rabbits, isn't it? A pheasant lives in a pear tree. That's where they. Uh, so they got the song them. wrong. Yes, there should be a pheasant wrong. in a pear tree. Mm-hmm. One ruins it. And turtle doves are notoriously ill-tempered. Oh, yeah, dude. they eat turtle eggs, especially the snapping turtle doves. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they they bite your finger. Oh off. yeah, they've been known to take a finger right off. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, can you oh, can you eat oh. partridges? You can eat anything. Yeah, um, thank you. What's the hardest part? Of, what's uh, the hardest? <laughs> and you've proven that in your lifetime. Hey, what's the hardest part about eating a partridge? Uh, the getting black the, bowling ball. No, <laughs> getting there, getting the partridge's legs apart is the hardest. It's an old joke. Um, Have you had quail before? <laughs> I've had quail eggs. No. I had quail recently, oh, and really? the bones were just. Ugh. Yeah, there's. It's. Not good. Mm. Didn't care for it. Um, where did you have quail? Why would you eat quail? It was at an event. At a Democratic convention. <laughs> no. Um, let's see. Is that yeah. a Dan Quail joke? <laughs> yeah, that no. A damn it barely. Is that what that was? Um, uh, I promised a bowling question. Yes, what's your bowling question? Uh, we were talking 300. About, we were talking about this uh, naked bowling thing mm-hmm. coming up in the Pittsburgh area, mm-hmm. which is kind of an interesting news story. But and I, women uh, can wear bottoms. Yes. Yeah. But and you have to be over eighteen. There's all and you have to right. every, you have to be naked. But you have to wear bowling shoes. Well, we didn't know. We're at, we're speculating. I smashed my. Dick. We're asking. Oh, you, I thought you said no. They did. I know it, it doesn't say that on the okay. story. I just was asking. If anyone eight uh, under eighteen would bowl naked, they'd have to arrest some people, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they would. That would be problematic. Uh probably, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I, just want, I just wanted to be clear on that. Yeah, thank you. for That was extraordinarily helpful, Jeffrey. Um, <laughs> Third day in a row. Hey, I thought we were going to go there. Third day in a row. Uh, what is that you, about my qu- that you think's oh. funny? My question is, Ace has a KISS bowling ball that I presented to him. Um, Humble brag. Somewhat rare. Uh, it's actually Willie, but... Uh, well, I gave it to Willie who gave it to you. Um, uh, gra- gratitude all around. Oh, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Nobody can say thank you like Ace Cosby. I've always said that. But, so my question is, Ace, uh, do they make uh, uh, bowling shoes, with for ki- like Kiss bowling shoes? They'd be uh, like Gene Simmons. They'd be like eight inches off the ground. Oh, like with, platform with bowling With dragons shoes. coming out of them. Yeah, they flat. do make Gene Simmons shoes. Huge tongue. Ah, <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Always right. been about the music. I tried. Yes, I, it wasn't, it that was very end. nice. <laughs> Had kind of a Reader's Digest humor and uniform feel to it. Break an ankle hey, if you hey. bowled in platform. You know, shoes. when I think of Kiss and their music, I always think how big those shoes are. Man, oh, man. <laughs> yes, sir. You ever seen a Kiss concert? No, I haven't. As Jimmy Buffett says, don't. Uh, Why well, he doesn't say much lately, does he? Well, I, hope, I hope not. That's just mean. You can still listen to that great song um, about... Uh, I've stepped down a pop top. Oh God, my okay. hip He's in the news today. Is sports actually. over? I I like Come program. Monday. Okay, Christy, do you have Florida any... Florida lawmakers unanimously voted to rename State Highway A1A after Jimmy Buffett. That Fins bill went up to my ass. Florida's Fins governor up my ass. for his signature. <laughs> curb to the left of me. Curb to the right. Also, you'll be able to get a license plate with the word Margaritaville on right. it. Proceeds uh, from the sale of that right. will go to Buffett's right. charity. Isn't Singing for change. Good. Thank you very much. Yes. Big fan. What's the yeah. charity singing for change? Yes. Isn't that what bums do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they not just call it the hobo initiative? Change like coins. Oh. Change. Not like oh. busking. Oh, yeah. No, not like busking. Sure, a lot of changes happen. Have you ever busked? Pat? I did it as a radio bit in London when we did our show there, but just. Did you make some money? Mm, yeah. In in the in the in the tunnel, I have a follow. Oh, in the to subway, in the, in the tube. What did yeah, you uh, what What did you play? American songs? Or? I think I played a lot of American songs. Did you any of your originals? No, 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 no. <laughs> Lighthouse. We just did a little bit. Lighthouse. You like the way <laughs> the Rocky Shore. Lighthouse. Johnny Loudwood in Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Johnny Loudwood on the tube. So wait a second. We could do that then one day. 
Why can't we have our we could, radio could, show in London? That's, that was asked to me on Twitter today. Because Pat had his X. radio show in London. Is he better than us? I think by definition, a show that's that can occasionally broadcast from London is better. Yeah. Huh. You don't you want to be better, don't you? <laughs> I'm okay. Don't you want to be the best? It was a hell of a week, Chick. We should do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. There was oh, talk of uh, Chick wouldn't come back. Oh, here we go. Oh, then, well, then let's, let's do go. it. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Now, says now, Ace. Now we've you been, know, a lesser it? person would be hurt by that. Now, we, now we've, the enthusiasm. Been, we, we've incentivized it. If you're going to do that. I will. I tell you what. We what? go do the show in London. I will retire and stay there. <laughs> that well, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not making that. it up. I'm no. not making now it up. I'm torn. Now I don't want yeah, you to do that. I'm not right. making that up. Do I will not come back. Hang on a second. No. I got to make a couple phone calls. <laughs> the <laughs> only way I can get this done. I'm no. totally serious. The only no. way I will I will personally be okay on my dogs that I will be okay with that is if uh, a rich, a very rich British woman wants you to be a kept man. Oh, and says, please stay here, chick. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Can you isn't uh, can you see me? Is J.K. Rowling <laughs> is J.K. Rowling single? I don't know. Uh, she's she's not a little my, problematic. Uh, not your type. <laughs> well, no. she's a great author. She reminds me of a saltine cracker. Yeah, I, I, she's not the most uh, what? Well, gorgeous woman. I was yeah. going to well, say. Love is blind. I think she's low. Well, she's well not that. No, not that. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't want to date that the, Susan the, the, lady the, the, the insult singer. The insult singer. Right? Susan Boyle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, has not, there been I'm, a, I'm not going out with Susan Boyle. Has there been Thank a more you, fitting John. last name? Is she still alive? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? She's still alive. <laughs> you think she died because she was so ugly. I never you? said... <laughs> You think you died of ugliness? No. Can, can you die of ugliness? I know you can die of fatness. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you That's can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too oh, fat. Know, you live. He's too fat. Too too fat. fat. Is there Qualified a British medical. lady that strikes your fancy? Jane um, Asher. How about Jane Asher? No. What? Get, get, get into this century, will you? I like Florence Win Pugh. Winslet. Winslet's pretty okay, good. Winslet. She is great. Yes. Yeah. She's, about, she's married, she's, though. When she's not acting, she's pretty good. Oh, she's a great actress. How about Adele? No. Really? I don't care for Adele. Twiggy? Twiggy, he died. <laughs> Did you know that Adele met her husband on uh, Farmers Only? Oh, was he a farmer Is that true? and Adele? They they call themselves <laughs> Farmer and Adele. Farmer <laughs> and you went in. <laughs> Uh, and is good, yeah. See, because he was, he was having sex with her. Sure. That's pretty Because funny. if you know when you do it right, there's a, this goes in there. And I mean, then Keely, uh, Keely oh. Hawes, but she's married to uh, Matthew. What about Mc Rachel Weiss? Mc McFadden. Oh, oh, she's married Weiss. too, no. though. I've met I her. know, marriage doesn't, no. when they see Chick, the, the, the divorce is going to Isn't Rachel start. Weiss married to Daniel Craig? Again. No offense, Chick, but. Daniel Craig. I'm better what does Craig have on Craig? Yeah. What Craig does he have on Chick? A very small nipples. He has no sense of humor like Chick does. That's right. That's true. You know how women say they, they love a sense yeah. of humor. They'll knock over a ship to yeah. get her. They don't need an eight-pack. And a small nipple. I I showed you my the smallness of my nipple. Yeah, but they're not as small as Daniel Craig's. His look, look, his look like they're winking at you in that James Bond movie. Oh. <laughs> oh they were winking at Christy, weren't they? <laughs> Would you like to rake your fingers down his chest? I never thought hips? about it, to be honest. You little liar. I told us that in the green room. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah all right, whatever. So the tongue starts looking up here, and it goes all the way down. I'm looking Keep up. talking, uh, so I don't have to do a story. Okay, could we? Uh, could English okay. broads. Hang on. <laughs> Florence Pugh, dude. Yeah. She's very well, she's young. she's like Scottish, right? No, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so you're limiting it. It's not the whole yeah, UK. Yeah, I, I don't want her to be younger than me. <laughs> that would be wild. Oh, that'd be gross, wouldn't you, it? You Yuck. idiot. <laughs> yeah. Good how about, God. How about something uh, from the whales section? You mean like a big fat fat fatty? No, 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 fatty girl. Fatty girl. A fat girl. Fatty fatty girl. girl. Fat girl. Oh, you mean like Catherine Zeta Jones? She's from Wales. Uh, isn't she? Got a request. That's a lot of work. <laughs> While you're yeah. looking, I've got a request. What? Um. Uh, one of uh, uh, one of our brilliant listeners Was noticed there? that um, when uh, we played the uh, the sound effect of the Chris Craft engine <laughs> on a boat, uh, I'm a big fan, of course, of the classic Chris Craft wooden boats mm -hmm. and uh, those beautiful engines. Uh, <sighs> the, what was it? The straight eight Packard. No, is someone that my noticed keyboard that again? this, which is Alex Van Halen. Someone noticed that this sounds exactly like. Like, a Chris Craft engine. Like, like this. This is the Chris Craft engine. You can't tell where it starts and <laughs> the drum stops. It, it's very good. Well, that reminded someone of uh, of this in which we were talking about um, those monks. Where are they from, Christy? Those monks that uh, you Tibet. Were, these sure. Tibetan monks, had uh -huh. they, they actually had an album out. So they, they brought yes, it to they us did. on CD. And it was the monks chanting. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, what we we noticed that it sounded like something else from the world of rock and roll. And this is, I think, this explains itself. Oh, these are the, the, the monks. monks. Tibetan monks. Yeah, this is the Tibetan sacred temple music. Excuse me. These are actually instruments they're playing. Yeah, these are like yeah. big horn things. Yeah, I, I, I'm not one to you know, you know, take a cultural stance on the you know, innate, innate superiority of Western. Over <laughs> church music, but uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> you can't really sing along yeah. with this, can you? Not a big, not a big right argument. Not a big argument there. I think. Where's that? Where's that one that we were? Now that's an actual monk voice. Oh, is it? Poor that's not an instrument. John is dead. It's poor <laughs> John Fryden. You are all going to burn. Wait a minute. Hell. Wait a minute, Bob. Oh, I'm Bob. sorry. Get out, uh, Ozzy. Oh. Black Sabbath. Oh God! I think we can. I think we can segue. I think we can segue this right into Black Sabbath. Hang on a second. It's so gonna rain right here in the studio. (laughs) They need some drums. Wait. Oh yeah, that was almost too perfect. We're going it's still there. You still got the monks going? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It sounds great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, the Sabs are their best. Now Thank you very good. much. Thank you very much. Uh, the monks meet the Sabs. Doesn't really by, line up perfectly. By special request. <laughs> kind of doesn't work. <laughs> Really? Yeah, have you guys noticed that upon re-listening to it? Doesn't, no, no, I think it kind of doesn't fit. No, no, it's uh, it's not as good as, of course, uh, the Wizard of Oz and uh, Pink, Pink Floyd. Floyd. I mean, that, mm. I'm sure you've listened to that many an hour, Josh. <laughs> uh, between diddling, <laughs> diddling, Gosh, Josh, we're out of the thirty weight. I don't know where it went, Dad. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Uh, diddling we go. <laughs> well, Christy, uh, Matt, there was a, a comedian so who came through who said we have a lot to say. Off, have, he was uh, addicted lot. to masturbation and he uh, used motor oil. He uh, ran out of lubricant. What? That's true. Uh, really something. Yeah. yeah. Clean happened. motor oil, I hope. And that man was yeah. Greg Warren. What do you mean, clean motor oil? <laughs> he didn't like go out. Right out. No, not not out of the, the engine. And... It's right out of the can. Yeah. <laughs> God. His mom came up to him holding the air filter. Hey, listen, while you're doing yeah. it. <laughs> you know, I want to take a look at yeah. your air filter. This air filter. Uh, as you know, you drive go out on the driveway and that air filter turns black. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Christy, I think we have time for one of the shorter right, stories. Do you have a quick story. one? During a screening of the original Star Wars trilogy by Chilean broadcaster Channel 13 in 2003, an ad campaign saw Chilean beer commercials cut directly into key scenes of the original Star Wars trilogy, trilogy, trilogy that are now going viral on social media. Now, I'll make this quick by explaining what's happening. They apparently weren't allowed to cut for commercials. Right. So they um, literally spliced into key scenes. The commercials. Uh, a, a thing for this uh, Chilean beer. Yeah, as a result, pivotal scenes show characters seemingly pulling ice cold beers out of Jedi robe sleeves, uh, usually placed unusually placed ice chests, and even out of thin air before the cerveza cristal jingle plays. Now, I'm going to play just a little bit of this, and you can see what happens. It's a, it's a scene from the actual Star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. I wish I'd known. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy. And he was a good friend. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. So he so he, he walks over and you see this, it cuts to this hand. <laughs> this hand reaching into a refrigerator. A uh-huh. hand that is obviously not Alec Guinness's. Yeah, and then and then here's what happens. Commercial for uh, Cerveza. Cerveza Cristal. Cristal. Hilarious. It's And it's so uh, ungainly and awful. But this is how they showed the movie on television because mm. they couldn't sell commercials. So uh, I just thought it was hilarious. If you get a chance, it's all over the Internet. It's funny, huh? The uh, <laughs> Star Wars trilogy. If I would have tried, oh, if God. I would have done that, he would rip me a new b-hole. <laughs> 
He'd be still yelling at me. I wouldn't rip you knowing yours is big enough. This is radio. No, no. This is radio. Let me tell you how it works. It's a video. I, I, I just, just give it a give it a look. See, it's very very I'm good. funny. Um, and I highly recommend it. Uh, so, or live um, your life and not worry about it. Um, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? It, what? I'm happened? blessed. I'm blessed just to not have uh, an eight to five job where uh, to do anything to keep me from jumping out of a window. I look at uh, so called funny internet videos. Right. So this, these are very. That's why I don't get this. Okay, I'm so uh, sorry. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, but you <laughs> would you. <laughs> Would you be honest and say there are very few of these videos that you think are genuinely funny? Oh, I, you know I feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you wouldn't want to watch the guy snow skiing that so, skis into well, the Well, that was chairlift. funny. Come on. That's not really. Do you think it's not you really have, not that funny. Well, he didn't get hurt. So do you think you have a block about it? or do you? Do, it, I think it's the accepted? lowest form of uh, creativity. Instead uh, of puns or the Three Stooges? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You don't like the Three Stooges. How dare you? Uh, Well, uh, thank you very much. Hit him with a hammer. We won't need a punchline. Also, Uh, I might not. Is that Jar Jar Binks? I don't know. (laughs) Oh, that was Curly? (laughs) (laughs) It's Jar 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 Binks. It's Jar Jar Curly. (laughs) There's also a chance I don't hate these things as much as I say Mm. on the air. You know what Jar Jar drinks, don't you? (laughs) Jar Jar Binks drinks some Jar Jar drinks drinks whatever the surveys are crystal. Uh, <laughs> you know what uh, earbuds he has in his ears? No. Raycon earbuds. That's Jar-Jar? right. Yep. Raycon's They'll offer. fit any ear even on a Jar Jar? Jar Jar. Amazing audio quality to half the price of other premium audio brands. Jar Jar keeps an eye on the bottom line. Raycon's gel tips even fit Jar Jar Binks. And Raycon has... Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And you don't have to worry if Raycons are up for whatever you got going. You enjoy features like their easy-to-use earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and the awareness mode, wherever you're going. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. And they also have over-the-ear headphones, which Tom swears by. Kids love them, and you'll love them too because it'll quiet them down in the back seat on that next vacation. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom for 20% off. Mm. Mm. Luke. <laughs> Luke, the, the Millennium Falcon, I think, needs a tune-up, Luke. <laughs> I'm going to come back and talk about, like, a funny meme you saw. Uh, <laughs> Here's what happened. Here's what you're. No, there's a there's a duck act. He he wants a bank loan. Okay, and Uh, there's one you're going to want to see, and that's uh, an animal does like a human thing. That's a chick. uh, That's chick blowing it, trying to do our special promotional announcement for our trip to Charleston, West Virginia, April 5th. Huh? Yeah. How am I blowing it? We have the outtakes. They're posted. Uh, We're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you.
Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns, plus Don't Forget. You see the word Don't Forget? No, but it's all, but it's all like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is the over. wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time it's at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! We you know, it's funny you mentioned it. Giant because yes? a colleague of mine, Tony Robbins, wrote Awaken the Giant Within, mm -hmm. Bob. Uh huh. And if we have time, I'd like to explain the difference between me and Tony Robbins, one of the most successful. I'd love to know. Oh, a couple million well, dollars? Well, no, not really. <laughs> you know, Tony Robbins wrote a book, as you know, called Awaken the Giant Within, sold uh -huh. over 20 million copies. Right. And in this book, Christy, Mr. Robbins postulates, that means theorizes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> that everyone has a giant within them just waiting to break out and do fabulous things. Well, I think that's a crock of, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think if you feel you have a giant within you, you're probably constipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My new book, Meet Me in the Middle. <laughs> is an answer to Zig Ziglar's see you at the top. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, I think we are our own worst enemy, and the sooner that people realize that in the success world, we are our own worst enemy. Our middle name should be Versus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe, and I think Chick would agree with this, success is not something we reach as a final destination. Success is like an illness, isn't it? We have bouts of success, episodes of success, uh -huh. and then we fall down and flounder some more. Mm -hmm. And my book shows you how to take advantage of those times you do succeed and uh -huh. parlay those up. And there's a reason why I'm able to drive a 1987 Cadillac Fleetwood. <laughs> <laughs> I have three yeah. cars, two of which are running. <laughs> <laughs> Our house band today, the Black Moods. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. It's time now to uh, Smack Tom. He's been running his mouth again. He's been pissing us off again. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. Smack Tom. I'll, I'll, I'll handle the lyrics. <laughs> and we Smack Tom. <laughs> popular there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Pizza Hut. You are not. You're not. Taunting prisoners, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. So I did a little research. The Game of Life was invented by Milton Bradley himself. Oh, yeah? In 1860. Hmm. Wow. And that's why there's a spinner in that game, because at the time, dice were considered wicked. Oh. Which, I don't know if dice are wicked, but Dungeons & Dragons dice do have the power to keep girls away. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs>
Laura Coretta is a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah you know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera in my rectum. <laughs> oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from it. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Well, shoot me when the beer runs out. But it's Mr. Norton. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. We're all here. And guess who's going to make a special appearance, Tom? Are you, are you ready? Who's that? Excuse me, but the most safest place would be Gonga City. Is where I grew up. Oh. It is a hidden city. Jar Jar? Jar Jar Binks. All right. There he is. All right. Be the original Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's I, always not bad. I always liked Jar Jar. I'm the only one. Uh, I know. Uh, I think you're doing it to be contrary. No, he was, uh, I thought it was funny. The best part of that crappy movie. Uh, right funny. now, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't do it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. Uh, <laughs> yes, Ace. Finally, I've gotten over my addiction to chocolate and nuts and marshmallows. It's been a rocky road. Well delivered. They're all really the same joke, aren't uh, they? Uh, pretty ex much. Excellent. Thank you, Ace. Yeah. I'm certainly enjoying Excellent. <laughs> really enjoy well, you got an excellent Ace. Good job, buddy. Okay. Uh, all right. I like Rocky now Road. For, uh, uh, rocky Road from the Goonies. That was, oh, is that uh, Chunk? That is Sloth. Chunk? I thought it was Chunk. No, Sloth, the weirdo. Oh, Chunk is the, uh, the actual normal kid. Yeah, normal yeah. Normal looking kid. Let's see. Uh, uh, happy birthday. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michelangelo. Mm. Wow. 1475. You funny. think his friends called him Mikey? They would have to, right? They wouldn't go. I would hope so. Oh, Michael. Mikey. Mikey. Yo, Mikey. Yeah. You know, How, how's that Dave coming, man? <laughs> Does he do David? He did do David. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He uh, painted houses on the side. Did he? He mm. killed people? Yeah, ceilings. <laughs> ceilings, uh, ceilings is special. Uh huh. Uh, Lou Costello, 1906. <laughs> Much funnier than Elvis Costello. <laughs> yes. Is that is. the Abbott and Costello guy? You know, you That's know. correct. Okay. Elvis Costello Slim. must have had an amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah, he might be funny. But, uh, I don't know about that. Um, uh, David Gilmore, the great uh, guitarist from Pink Floyd, and, of course, his daughters, the Gilmore Girl. I think Lou Costello <laughs> was known as, uh, uh, he used the name Chicky in a couple of their uh, yeah. couple mm -hmm. of their movies. That's true. Ah, yeah. uh, Chick, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Happy birthday, uh, Rob Reiner, uh, oh. now a fine director. I had uh, the opportunity uh, of interviewing him once. Yeah, nice he's a great guy. guy. Right-wing extremist. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Meathead, if that's what they call it. Uh, I'm a he has a, a podcast uh, about the Kennedy assassination. Oh, really? Rob Reiner. Yeah, it's... Really? Um, I'm hoping it's going to get interesting. Okay. <laughs> he's cool. He's, he's a really interesting guy. Yeah. Uh, Tom Arnold. I'm a fan. I am too, man. Funny. We had a money. Was really, any relation really to you? Uh, no, gosh. there is no relation, but I have been accidentally introduced to him a few times. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, I didn't know how to pronounce this guy's name till he was in here. I'm born in 1963, D.L. Hughley. Mm-hmm. Because it looks like it could be... Hughley. Yeah, like G.H., like rough, so it could be D.L. Huffy or Huffley, right? Huff Huffley, yeah. Yeah, or it could be Hugley. Um, yeah, right. But it's not. It, it's no. a D.L. Hughley. He's a really thoughtful man, too. He's really uh, bright. Yes, that's true mm -hmm. and funny. I, yeah. uh, Shaquille O'Neal, 72, that was... Uh, uh, Shaq, it's his birthday, of course. Diesel. Who doesn't love Shaq? Shaq Fu. Love Shaq. They love Shaq, baby. They love, love Shaq. Shaq. <laughs> Here's one. Uh, I'm not familiar with this guy. Uh, Ruth. Born in 1991. Tyler the Creator. Yeah, a, he's uh, started off mostly internet stuff, and now he's kind of an actor, rapper, okay. whatever. Yeah. I know I'm familiar with Nick Cannon, the, the pro creator. Oh, yes. I yes. know he's a, a prolific with his male member. Um, Willie's uh, a big fan of Tyler, the creator. Uh, uh, on this date in 1521, Magellan discovered Guam. Hmm. You got to hand it to him. Like we wouldn't have found that anyway. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Guam is like finding a football in a, uh, I mean, a, like finding a quarter in a football field. Guam is really out there by itself. You ever seen it? Mm -mm. Yeah, it did. Good, nice work. Is that, did they invent guacamole? 
It they seemed, did. It yeah. seems like they should. Yeah. And the island is covered in bat feces. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guam does Guam. sound like something Guano. you pull out, pull out of your nose Guamo. when you get a cold. The official name of it is Guamo. <laughs> yes. Guamo. And there's North Vietnam and uh, South <laughs> Vietnam. 1836, the end of the Battle of the Alamo. Famous quote, of course. Um, remember the Alamo. Who said it? Uh, I forget. I think it was uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. Okay, so you don't remember. <laughs> that, that's not a big... Um, I've been to the Alamo, though. So have I. It's I weird. Do, yeah. Yeah. Right in the middle of a downtown. Right. <laughs> yeah, have you wow. been to the uh, basement of the Alamo? That's the cool part. There's no basement in <laughs> the Alamo. We got an email from a listener this morning that built the talk box that uh, our buddy Peter Frampton uses. Uh, While working for Mr. Heil. On his t- uh, on his tour. Ziggy. Yes. Ziggy Heil. <laughs> uh, the Bob and Tom Show. Remember like our new that? slogan? We're here. Deal with it. <laughs> um, we're on the road coming up. Uh, Bob and Tom Show on opening day, March 28th in Cincinnati and Charleston, West Virginia. On April 5, we'll be there. <laughs> yes, your baseball announcer's coming out. April 5 is the Major League Baseball that gets underway. <laughs> How in the sky? Just a bit outside. Evens the count at two and two. You know, coming up late. Oh. And how good was Bob Euchre? And he crushes one towards South America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talked about a Boilermaker and what uh, that can A beer and a whiskey shot. We talked about my mouth starts to water. And Tom brought up a Chris Craft boat again. It says here they, it is a Packard. And some of them. Very nice. Which sounds just like the beginning of uh, Van Halen on for teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is funny. No, it, 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 it's the amazing. two are perfect. I wonder, <laughs> I'll t- maybe get a hold of Alex, see if that's where he got the inspiration. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.